Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast, where Bernie was dabbing a second ago. <laughs> yep. This week brought to you by Maltesers, <coughs> Threat of Wag, dab. and World of Tanks. I'm World Gus. of Tanks. You were dabbing? It's nope. dabbing. Bar- I was Bar- threatening. Bernie. I was like, oh. no, no, you were dabbing. That's Bernie. Nah, I was getting close. We saw it. No, I'm not we got we got a piece of uh, uh, fan art in the mail. <laughs> a piece. <laughs> 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 oh, I was wondering what that was. It's uh, the patron saint of podcasting. Is it upside down? Is oh it a no! Big chicken. Go down a, a little a bit. Big just pull, pull it down a little bit, guys. No, that's up, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I see people get left and right mixed up. His oh controls God. are inverted. Th- okay, that's amazingly done, but it's really terrifying at the same time. It's really cool. I think we're gonna. I don't know. If, uh, we probably can't put it on the set, but we may hang it in the control room or something. That's I a like good that. sc- throat squirt oh. on that. I, uh, I, I, brought, I brought the person's note so I can make sure to give him credit. So thank you at the clay dart. On Why Twitter. did he give you a whole piece of paper? He gave you a strip. I don't know. Artist man. Who knows? Just like he wants the rest of that paper for something else. I think I saw. Never know. Uh, Risemonger also had something over there, so maybe uh, he sent him one too. Where is he? To use the paper. Is Not here. Me? Where's Risemonger? I, don't know, I saw him out in the break room a, a while ago. That's a weird angle. It's a Jim. Hey Jim. <laughs> yeah, it just feels weird. <laughs> like I'm looking at the podcast over your shoulder. What else is weird about this podcast? Yeah, me. Uh, that's it. Fan mail and everything. We're doing unboxings now. Apparently. That's well, no, I just thought it was a really I, cool listen, piece I'm of art. Listen, I'm just making fun. No, I'm, I'm not. Fun. This is not Awu. Uh, I'm not a Chima hunter. I don't want that shit. I don't want weapons. So I was an unboxing show now. I guess. Yeah? <laughs> Are you not on it? <laughs> <laughs> this is chaos. There's too much crap in the office. The, the, they are ruining Rooster Teeth. Why? Do you, you see how separate... many boxes there are oh, everywhere over here? Hunter? Yeah. How many boxes there are in the Chima, Chima Hunter Hunter's office? Chima been ruining Rooster Teeth for like four years. <laughs> well, what does that do? Why, why, uh, why would that ruin anything for us? Don't they have their own P.O. box? Wasn't that like <laughs> yeah, but it's here. when they turned into cam girls or whatever it is they're doing over there? I went into the Chima Hunter office for the first time in months. You saw the it pile? Is, it is wrecked. And I, I, half their office is boxes, unopened boxes. And Jeff's like, you want one? Pick one. They're, start, oh. they're, start, they're starting to creep their way into my office. Jesus. They've been creeping away the way around the room. But I, yeah, it's only a matter of time before they go through the wall into yeah. your... It's like, no. What's no. the most worthwhile thing that you've received? What is your favorite? Gavin. Me personally? You personally. Well, I hate all matter the weapons. Matter of opinion. I think the grapple hook's really cool. You got a grappling hook? Yeah. Is it on a gun? Isn't that a weapon? No. It's just, you yeah. throw it. Did, did you, have, have you heard what they did with it? No. Well, at least you say they. I'm going to guess really... they grappled something. What would you think we grappled? An apple. You would throw <laughs> it up <laughs> to your idiot. roof. You're trying to get in that hole in your roof, in your ceiling. No, but you're on the right <laughs> lines with hole in the roof. <laughs> so you threw it up onto the roof, climbed onto the roof, and then punched a hole in the roof when you stepped on it. Yeah, except there's no climbing involved. <laughs> it's just put a hole in the roof. Oh, you put a hole in the roof? Yeah. You guys they, take they put a hole in stage five. acceptable thing to grapple. This roof. Over there. Yeah, right back over there. Oh, you did on stage five? Yeah. yeah. Dude, in your building, yeah, fuckheads. Yeah, your office. I didn't do it. I was just filming it. That's doing it. That's the same fucking thing. I wasn't doing it. I was just filming it. Fucking jackass. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, Achimo Hunter ruining their office feet. looks like shit. Yeah, it's and, a mess. And their couch smells like pee. I saw. I think someone pissed on our couch. It smells gross. Like, it smells like something pissed on. Yeah, it's on like their an couch. animal like took a leak on it. It's probably a rat. Get rid of it. You probably have rats in there. Clean. They're fucking <laughs> chewing on your cardboard and nesting. Pissing, <laughs> pissing yeah. on the couch. It's probably also, true. Yeah, dragging their yeah. balls across your couch. People know about that game you guys play, right? With the bat. Hundred dollar hole. Hundred dollar hole. Yep. I, I went in there and I tried to play it where you have to hit this ball with a plastic bat in this tiny little hole in the ceiling. That's right what I thought it. they were grappling. <clears throat> that hole. Um there's like a light, one of those like lantern things. China ball. China ball. Uh it's torn to shreds, and I was wondering why. Turns out that everyone just hits it yeah. with the bat. They're not trying to hit it, they're trying to get it in the hole, but there's a light there. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you, all, you, you all have the weirdest ways to occupy your time. The ceiling has a bunch of dents in it too from Jack. <laughs> Jack's trying to make a new hole. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fascinated by the fact that Gavin has zero hours logged on Battlegrounds. That you haven't you, on your Steam account. You haven't Never played, played it. it. Oh, we talk about Battlegrounds now. <laughs> is this this a, is the part of the podcast where Gus and I talk about Battlegrounds for 30 minutes. We are going. I'll, I'll give a bit of a heads up. I guess you're, this only makes sense to you if you're watching this live. If you're a first member, but we are we are scheduled to try to film a Battlegrounds Let's Play tomorrow, a podcast Let's Play. It should work. Uh, it's a network I'm game. going to tweet out the server in the morning tomorrow. We'll probably play around 2 p.m. Austin time, two or two thirty, and then I'll tweet the password once the server's up. It's fun. We did this during the E3 live streams. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. The really cool part about it is the custom server, it allows you to go into spectator mode, which yeah. you normally can't do. 
Man, I had a fucking great run last night. I was gonna save it. Instant replay was disabled on my computer. Why? What do you mean instant I don't know. replay? What is that? The shadow play. You can hit a button and record like the last up to twenty minutes of your gameplay. I don't do that stuff. Is that the game that you got uh chicken winner thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got chicken winner. Yeah, yeah. Chicken dinner. <laughs> winner winner chicken dinner. Winner winner chicken dinner. That's when you get first. Okay. But you're you only play solo, right? I prefer to play solo. Yeah. Okay. I, I play duo with Blaine every now and then, but I, I, I feel like it's too much pressure when you play with someone else. Like, I don't want to let the other person down. And I feel like I always end up choking. I mean, like, oh, I'm actually much better than that. Like, That's the <laughs> reason I don't like playing games online, because I don't want people to see how bad I am at so many games. This game is and horrible, And people knowing though. my gamer tag and seeing my low score on every multiplayer thing. But this is like that. I mean, it's like there's 100 people in the game. You might finish the game. Even if you came in first place, you might get, like, three kills. Because everyone's killing each other the entire time. Yeah. And, like, somebody can get eight kills... Get all the way to the end, and somebody shoots them, and they get one kill, and they win. I yep, watched Ryan know. and Jeremy play, and they got, I think, to the last, well, like, number two, and then... <laughs> that was such a funny moment. Have you seen it? No. Is that the Battle Buddies? Uh, then Jeremy shot Ryan. <laughs> so what happened was... What happened was... Oh, my God. There were, there's, there were two teams left, two teams of two. Uh, Ryan and Jeremy are on one team, and they're up against another team that had both, had both guys alive still at the very end. Both. Both. So Ryan, I think, shot a dude, downed him. He went behind the rock... And I think he yelled, there's a dude behind the rock. Hey, because he's down here by the rock. So Ryan goes around the rock this way. Did he smell what it was The cooking? left side. And the guy dies as he does that. And as he watches the guy die, the, his buddy shoots him and downs Ryan. Then Jeremy comes around the other side of rock and says, I found the down guy. And shoots oh, my Ryan God. And kills Ryan. And then the guy shoots Jeremy and they lose. <laughs> And it's uh, so great too because it's like it, when you did the whole I said you know move the poster down and you pulled it up. That is it's like the the big thing about that game is people fucking panic. Yeah, people. F- <laughs> I, I thought you wanted to show down. I thought you wanted to show the bottom. That's why I lifted it. Nice. No, I, no, I feel you were like in the uh, Apple like scroll up, scroll down. Yeah. Do you think you're good under pressure in those situations, or do you are you just like ah, and you just start yelling at everyone? <laughs> I'm better. At that game that I used to be under pressure. Now I'm way well, yeah, better. yeah, you got chicken dinner. So. I got a chicken dinner. <laughs> it, it powered him up. It, yeah. it nurtured him. How do you think? You know how we always travel together and you hate it and it's terrible for you and it's I have a great bad. time. We should see how far we both get in that game uh, on a team. Let me tell you something. Okay, I'll do that. I'll play with you. Why do you hate traveling with Kevin? I have bad luck traveling with somebody else now, and it's not a good person to have bad luck traveling with. Ellie, Ellie? I have bad luck traveling with Ellie. Here's you it. have bad luck traveling with everyone because you're the problem. Yeah, I, I'll. I'll ag- I'll drink to that. That little British <laughs> Gannett, though, she she British has Gannett? Gannett. She has a checked bag. That's amateur hour game. Mm-hmm. Checked bag is just too much. Well, every mm-hmm. time. Yeah. yeah. Can't have that. If we're gone for like more than two days, yeah. To tell her to ship it. Uh, we're gonna work it out. I'll do okay. a, a whole thing where I, I I take her somewhere and get her a fucking real suitcase. Just tell her you're gonna <laughs> fire her unless she gets a carry on. She missed her plane coming back from LA, so Ooh. I mean she's already feeling that pinch. She missed a flight already. Yeah, she what missed. Happened? She missed her flight, and then, like I was, was gonna it your make fault? it. Be- not really. Oh, that means it was. <laughs> you, you made Ellie miss that flight. We had, we had a long discussion about it this morning, where it's like, listen, <laughs> we're two people working on this. We shouldn't be missing planes. Let's just let's just, you know, it's like I've always said. Whenever we do things like slash job titles, like oh, I'm the writer slash director slash person who runs a store slash social media manager back in the early days, yeah, Gus. Yeah. We worked our ass off trying to get all that stuff done. We didn't do a great job at like reaching the potential of any one of those positions until we hired other people and like specialized in what we were doing. But at the same time, we didn't phenomenally fuck anything up. Right. And so what happens is it's really frustrating, and it has been for years, is when we hire someone to do a very specific job, it immediately gets worse. And you would think it would instantly get better, <laughs> but it doesn't. It gets worse... And then we recover from that, and it gets better. Right, because they have to f- learn all the baggage that goes along with it. Right, just the, like, all, all the very specific things. Yeah. So the way did, we do did it. social media get shitty when you hired Barbara? Uh, you, unbelievably, un. We had a we had a social media crisis. Oh, uh, you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guess, yeah. Guess what though? You and I had nothing to do with RTX this year. It's true, Gus. This is the first year Gus and I are not working on RTX. I did at not all. attend a single planning meeting. At all. I didn't do not one. anything. I swear you had a meeting for this RTX like 18 months ago. Uh, I don't Wait count. If it was before the, the fuck the are you last going on international trips and going to checking out venues? Those and are shit? that's different. Uh, why? Because you get to go on a trip. He's a consultant. Yeah, free trip. I lay it out. What does you just? But actually, you're just using a different name. I don't. You're do still that. involved with the fucking thing. As of this last March, I don't do that either anymore. Because you got your last trip. It's weird. No. I'm used to feeling that like gut wrenching, stomach sinking feeling right now. 
and I'm not. Why do yeah. you always like dreading I, this? This your morning birthday. I was driving to work and I was like, oh, it's less than three weeks away. Woo! This is gonna be fun. Yeah, we get to attend. Yeah. And not have a walkie talkie on us at all times. Yep. <laughs> I'm in the slog right now. Just got done with the E3. Later this week, Gav and I are going to VidCon. Can't be asked with it. VidCon. Are you not going? No, I'm good. I'm good. VidCon. <laughs> And then, like, basically the week after. I'm actually taking a week off with the kids. And uh, then the RTX. I just don't know what VidCon is for at this point, for me. I don't know why I go. <laughs> do you know? Do you go for a reason? Gavin runs into a weird thing with VidCon where they keep, like, unintentionally insulting you, which I totally get, <laughs> that you would be insulted by these things. Like, they just like, well, we flew you to VidCon, but you don't need a hotel room, so they kind of a hotel room. Every time, it's like a, a huge thing. It's like, oh, sorry. last year, right? I don't know. It was I had to stay years. in your room. Yeah. Uh, la- no, that was two years ago. Last year, I <laughs> went to my room at midnight, opened the door, Dan was naked on the bed. I was like, they're us <laughs> the same room. They make him share a room. And I saw into his anus. Did, did, he, did he give you the look? <laughs> he didn't well, he was facing the way. Into he didn't see into it, you just saw it. And was he spreading his own ass cheeks? Did well, it wink at you? No, no, I opened the door and the light shone onto it and he <laughs> rolled and it opened. And, I saw- and how would I see his eye if I'm looking at his anus? <laughs> did it wink at you? Oh, no. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, let's just stop real quick. I need Gavin Freeze anatomy of the butt because you say so many different things. I want to go over the full anatomy of a butt. Okay. Could that be you a got shirt? cheek? Okay, cheeks are the outside. Two cheeks. Two cheeks. Uh, sweat trench. Go ahead. Okay. And then what we call we typically call the crack. Yeah. And, and then some but you need, matted you need to, hair to like spread to see the anus because the anus is the. Like, Let him what go. you're saying is he rolled and like that's probably where it. But happened. you said you saw into his anus. Well, I looked away really quickly. I don't really know what I saw. It was a mess. Does he bleach it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, nobody wants to see someone's anus. Like, a bum is funny. As soon as an anus is on display, it's not funny anymore. It's like, that's your anus. That's where your poo comes out. You're really specific, though, in your descriptions of things. Like, sometimes you say asshole, and sometimes you say anus. <laughs> I've never seen... Are those seen... the same thing? Anus is technically, like, the inside, right? No. No, 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 no. Anus is the end of the intestine. Is it? Okay. The sphincter part. So that's inside? I've never seen what? someone's anus other than my own. What? What? <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> Who's who? What other anuses? You've would seen I be inside seen? your own butt? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> you I've, just said I've it was seen the my inside. I've seen my own asshole. Wait, what? Why? I don't know that I have seen mine. I've never seen my own asshole. <laughs> mine is like the one that? that I haven't seen. Barbara, how'd you do that? When you're you, growing up, you <laughs> look you're, at things in the you're mirror. You're squatting on a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I've done that. I've never no, done that. Everything I've got, I want to see is like or if you if you have if you have a full length mirror, you sit. On the floor, and then you put your legs up. Never, Barbara. <laughs> nope, never done it. That's just you. To me, listen, my... it's important to inspect your genitals. That was a go on moment. As a young, listen, teen. No, not shame anything. As a lady, you can't see your bits. You gotta like, if you want to see what's going. on. Guys, obviously, I can see everything that I want to see. Right. It's like you know, whatever. Right. So, let's, so let's I would literally up. have to just set on this little adventure that you're describing. That would just be me. Wanting to see my butthole. Yeah, to, try to me, it. To me, my but anus... But you didn't set out to see your butthole. That was incidental butthole. Well, they're like an inch apart, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard not to. Like, w- with me, I can imagine how the mental conversation would go. Do I want to look at my own butt? I should get a mirror. Yeah, it's kind of weird, out. right? No, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, that was that would be the end of it. <laughs> I treat my it. anus like the elephant in the room. Go ahead. It's like, there's definitely going to be some issues with it. There's definitely going to be... It's going to be messy. It's not going to be nice to look at. But if I don't look at it and I don't mention it, it'll be fine. All right. Um, How often do you think about your anus? You mentioned buttholes more than any person I've ever met in my yeah. life, though. I don't think that's true. Once a podcast, at least. So wait, how have you never you... seen another dude's butthole? Why would I- Another where, dude's? What situation would I see a dude's butthole? <laughs> when you're yeah, pegging like, him? Thumbing it? Or like- I've never thumbed a guy's butthole. Reaching around to uh, I've That's never... what the term around means. It's around her body, the, the person's body. So if you reach around, so I've when the when the girls who stuck their fingers in your butt during sex, <laughs> have we said that publicly? <laughs> when, they, when, they, when they did that, Gavin, did they bend you over and go like with like one of the mirrors on their like the headband and they go put in on some gloves, or did they just reach and go, hey, like they reach like this, reach around? They make you their puppet. So what are you saying? You're saying your my definition of reach around is wrong? No, that's just that they probably what? also oh, never re- seen your it's anus. A right? Go ahead, guess. It's go different. Ahead. Gus has it. It's the other side. It's the other side. Yeah. That's why you have to reach around. Yeah, but you can reach around from the back. To your yeah. dick? <sighs> to what? So you have someone behind you? <laughs> I don't know what. Like, and what, you're surprised when they, when they go in? Is a reach around specific to front to back? Or can you be back to no, front? No, but why around? would anyone be behind A reach around you? is specifically back to front. 
You're talking about sleeping Wait, with women, right? Who's back to who's front? A reach around is specifically reaching around to, to a grab penis. a dick right. and jack it off. Well, that's the term reach around. Right. That's but when what you I'm use saying. it in terms of sticking a finger in the butt, you can't use it that way. I guess you could. You Poke could around. use the words. You, you are around. reaching around, but it is not a reach around. That is correct. I get, I get, <laughs> I get the nuance. I do. I get the reach around nuance yes. here. But you're still reaching around. I'm never getting to that. That's any, why you can't ad. see, Gav. <laughs> that's why you can't see it. So I, you're I, saying. Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying on the true definition of reach around, the Gus definition. Someone give me a, a pencil right and a piece of paper. <laughs> I got a jaw schematic. According to Creot on Twitter, Edgar C., anus is the butthole, rectum is the inside. Yeah, rectum, that's what rectum, I'm thinking that's Rectum, that's the rectum, rectum hardly knew him. Bad. So, you're telling me you've been in a situation with somebody, Gavin. No, I'm not saying anything Where they were behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Who, so, who's seen your butthole? I don't know, whoever was there, I don't know. <laughs> who's seen your butthole? All right. No, that's, but, that's, uh, uh, Patrick wants to re wants me to remind everyone that Sally will actually be here next week after uh, VidCon. That doesn't. She won't be able to answer the fact of why, whose butthole or who has seen Gavin's butthole. We should clarify that Sally's a biologist and not a girl who likes butt stuff. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 was, I, was, I feel like that was a I, like, I was you set that up all wrong. Change the subject and go somewhere else. Did you ruin it? I did not ruin it. I just ruined all of our clicks. Made it, it better. <laughs> um. I had, for the first time ever, I had a medical emergency on my flight coming back from L.A. You didn't have a medical emergency. I didn't. There That's was the a, medical was a medical emergency. emergency. I'm just pointing out that we never got the answer. And I Wait a minute, weren't you we're on the flight? On. What's that? Pardon? I'm just pointing out that I'm pissed off that we didn't get an answer and that we're moving on already. And that's what? Gus's fault. What's the answer from what? About Gavin? Who's seen Gavin's butthole? Gavin, and who's seen how your... did they do it? Answer the question. Who has seen your butthole? I don't how, know. How, how about, so not naming names, how many people have seen your butthole? Like, actually, like, I don't know if anyone, any of them saw them. That's Barbara just made the most yeah. obscene gesture with her hands. What were you doing? How you get in and see. Come it's on, like now a it's goat not. <laughs> Like, that's why I haven't seen anyone's butthole. Because I never, when I'm with a guy, I, like, spread them. Oh, wow. Okay. You never thought to check it? Why? I can't. No, say she's busy I have. with the mirror for her own butthole. <laughs> <laughs> she's got that wish fulfilled. She's lived that fantasy, Gavin. People have seen my butthole. Yeah. Yes. Oh, just from like business. Yes. Like behind business. Yeah. Behind business. So there was a medical emergency on my flight. Go ahead. Coming back from E3. Initially, my flight was going to be. Do you see their butthole? LAX. I did not. <laughs> LAX to Austin. <laughs> but it was a later flight. <laughs> and I wasn't going to land in Austin until like close to 10 p.m. So I rescheduled. I found it's a, it's a terrible flight, but I found LAX to San Francisco, San Francisco to Austin. And I, came, I got back like five hours earlier. So uh, I rebooked it. That morning, flew LAX to San Francisco. I was really hungry. But there was only like a five minute time I had to connect. So I had to get off the plane, run real fast, get to my uh, other gate, got on the plane, take off. And then right around the time we're back near LAX, they're just starting to pull the food carts out. Someone in the back of the plane just starts screaming, medical assistance, medical assistance, medical assistance. The flight attendant? No, just like a passenger. Like he's in the aisle, like just screaming oh. it. Oh my God. He, he was the one in need of assistance? I, don't, I think it was someone in his row. Got ya. Um, so like a flight attendant's put all the carts away and like everyone rushes back there and they start doing that thing where they're like, is there a doctor on the plane? Anyone in the medical field? Nobody. Oh God. They're like th 30 question? seconds later they ask again, nobody. Why don't they start to collect that information when you buy your ticket? Well, because you don't put your occupation when you fly. Yeah, I assume that that's like some sort of... It's like, are you a medical doctor? I, don't, I think they... They ask me if I'm part of the military when I check in at the kiosk. Maybe they, they don't want to have to compel you to help? I guess maybe that they don't have... Because like, there are doctors. Have you ever seen them where there's multiple doctors on board? And they're all like, you, you, go ahead, go ahead. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they defer to each other big time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm off the clock. They uh, fucking rock, paper, scissors. Doctor. While doing the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> but it was weird because everyone on the plane, just like, it was really creepy. Everyone's heads just like turn around at the same time and look back. Yeah, what oh happened? I don't know. Like, it was in the last row. I didn't want to get involved. It was like, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to do anything. So I just sat in my seat. What was it? I don't know. They, they, they took... I couldn't even see if it, was, what it, if it was a man or a woman or what, but they took that person out from the row and like laid them out in the galley at the back of the plane, and they were like laying down the whole flight. I was like, oh shit. We're so at the end of the flight, they bring a gurney on and get them off? I don't know. I didn't, didn't look back, just got off the plane. So did it well, they would do that first. No, we did not then. Like the, I don't know if the person was back in the like, seat. Well, or... wait till everybody clears out the plane, then we'll deal with your yeah, problem. Maybe. I, there, was, there was no medical personnel that I saw at the gate in Austin waiting for us. That is most of the medical emergencies <clears throat> that I've run into on planes. That's been the case. It seems like it's crisis in the air, and you land, and they're like, "Ah, walk off." Weren't you on the plane with me? With I the was. Guy? I was not on that. Flight. You were on that plane with the guy died no. right behind us, and then came back to life. Who he came back to life. Who was on the plane with you me? You said Vegas, right? Was that a Vegas trip? I don't remember. I've been Wasn't on... Jack on a plane where someone died, and he was a bit annoyed by? He it? He was annoyed because <laughs> somebody died on oh his plane. God. I was. I was. 
a little put out. By yeah, we did hear a lot about your lunch plans while someone else is fighting for life. Yeah, so I, I couldn't eat at San Francisco Airport. Then the person's having the medical emergency. And uh, so, so they, they couldn't, couldn't bring, bring the, the cart out. The food cart. So there was like, they were like, oh, we're going to see so eventually they said, we're going to bring a clipboard down and we'll ask you if you want to buy food. And they started doing that in the front of the plane. I was in the exit row and then they never got to me. So I asked the flight attendant like, hey, uh, y'all still going to be selling food? They were, she said, oh, no, we ran out. <laughs> so ran I, out. <laughs> so I, I don't know if they couldn't get to the rest of the food because the person's laying down. So I had to wait till I got back. To, I didn't eat till like. Oh, uh, you must have been starving. Almost, like after 5 p.m. that oh my day. God. I was so angry. <laughs> I, had a, I had a little Stroop waffle in the morning on my first flight. <laughs> so good. And that was it. It was really good. Maybe but, that was the medical emergency. Maybe somebody ate like 80 little cans of Pringles. So wait, you never said why Ellie missed the flight. Oh, so we get to the airport. And why so, was your fault? So we were leaving uh, uh, my place in L.A. after E3. And our flight was at, you know you do that math? You do backwards math where it's, okay, my flight's at 8.30. That means i got to be there at 7.30. Yeah. Yeah. Should we, we got to leave here at 6.30. Should we got to wake up at 5. Well, I would have done a different math for that. What would you do? <laughs> I usually leave two hours before my flight boards. Two hours before your flight boards or when you leave? before my flight takes off. Yeah, but it depends yeah. when the... It depends where you are. Right. From the I usually give myself an hour to get, <clears throat> get the airport. Yeah. Anyway, so it was perfectly fine. We were timed perfectly fine. <laughs> the problem was we just didn't communicate very well. I don't think I communicated to her that I had a rental car and that was going to be another stage in the process, which in L.A. can be kind of rough. And she didn't communicate to me that she had a check back. She had a check mm. back. So we made it there like tight on for her check back and also tight for the rental car. But because we had to do the rental car, she couldn't check her back. So we're standing there. And she can't get on the plane, so I'm like, well, I am, I'm not. See ya. <laughs> so you just left. Yeah. You I, left had plans, without I had plans with kids. I, I had a... Asshole, Ellie. you just got on a plane without me, like, three weeks ago. But I didn't say, oh, I'm ditching him, see you later. I thought you were right behind me. You were just slow on your feet. Oh, wait, that's uh, when you got on the plane and then they closed the door before Bernie was <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. I, I had fucking a, security. I had a rental car also. <laughs> like, two people behind me. I know. It was unbelievable <laughs> what happened. Turned into, like, a riot of old people. Hey, I just I, got I, TSA pre pre-check, by the way. Who awesome. does? I just got it. Oh, you're Canadian. I, oh, I can, can get, get it. it. Yeah, I you get can get it. She can't get global entry, but she can do pre-check. Fucking loophole. Uh, I didn't realize what an idiot I was for not having it earlier. That's what we kept saying. I just like... You could have gotten it this whole time? Being yeah. a Canadian? Yeah. I want to point out the fact that Barbara is Canadian. Can I get it? I don't no. have a... Are you no, Canadian? I only can't get it. <laughs> I, I had to give him a green card. <laughs> yeah, I don't have so a green card. Um, was it, oh, was it a green card? It's not like a NAFTA thing? Mm -mm. No, it's. I think it's a residency. I had a rental car as well. The night before my flight, I went to turn it on. Battery was dead. Oh, that sucks. That's happened to me before. I uh, and I was parked in an underground garage. So I called the rental place. I'm like, hey, battery's dead in this car. I'm like, okay, we'll send someone to to jump it. I said, just so you know, I'm in an underground garage. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, guy shows up to jump the car. Big regular size tow truck. Oh yeah. And he looks, at the, fit. he looks at the garage, he's like, I don't know if I can get down there. I was like, <laughs> I was like come on, we gotta, we gotta at least try, we gotta at least try. And I'm not shitting. By the time he got to the level I was on, it was like two inches of space. Yeah, it's awesome. Between his uh, lights and like the lowest pipes. And like every time we would get to one, he'd like get out and look. And like the <laughs> truck would slowly creep forward. He'd be like, okay, we made it, we made it. Oh my God. Jumps my car and I was like, I don't, I don't trust this car anymore. Like, I'm gonna have to get up early for my flight. I'm just gonna go return it right now. So I went, returned my car. And then I had to wait for a lift to take me back to my place. So I returned the car. I'm waiting for my lift. And it's like kind of by the airport. It's dark. It's like not a highly trafficked street. And I'm standing there waiting. And this dude walks by me. Kind of a sketchy looking dude. And then like, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Why was he sketchy? I don't know. Just look kind of maybe, like maybe homeless. Maybe not. Uh, like kind of dirty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Side eye. I mean, Jeff was there too, right? It was, maybe it was Jeff. So he walks by. Then he Happy like birthday. stops. Happy birthday, Jeff. Then he turns around and comes back to me. And he looks at me and goes, Do you have any drugs? <laughs> Wait a minute. He asked you if you have drugs. Right. Not if you want drugs? Correct. He said, Do you have any drugs? I go, No. Sorry. <laughs> and I was like, I shouldn't be waiting here anymore. He probably shouldn't be sorry either. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I said I was <laughs> sorry. He asked you Do you have drugs? That's exactly what he said. Do you have any drugs? Do you have any drugs? I said no. Then he didn't tell me we were high on life. Kept walking into the night looking for drugs. Hugs, not drugs, my friend. I bet he got some. I'm sure he did. So, but I felt strangely flattered. I was like, oh, that guy thinks I'm a drug dealer. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Why is that flattering? I was like, do I? Look, I was like, I, I look like a criminal. <laughs> nice. Thought you were cool for a moment. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm pretty bad cool. boy, Gus. Yeah, uh, little Gus would be so proud dealer. of you. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was not. Little did he know you're getting your rental car battery. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. 
Yeah, but that, that, that sucks, because then there's that whole thing where you're then worried, like, oh, if I turn it off again, and if I get out, is it going to start? Like, is there a, a wider problem? You basically problem? described my 20s. Every car I had in my yeah. 20s was like, if this car stops, is the engine going to shut off and it's going to leave me stranded? Yeah. I mean, in, yeah, y'all used, used to make fun of me all the time. 98 degree heat on the side of the Texas highway. So why'd you rent a car? Did you have to go places between places? I was having to go, when we started the <laughs> our coverage, we were in Playa Vista and not downtown. Oh. And I was staying downtown, so I'm having to get back and forth. Where were you staying downtown? Uh, an Airbnb. Okay. Was it nice? It was okay. Yeah. It was like... Man, I've stayed in on. nicer ones. They said, like, when you look at the listing, it's like, it's suitable for four people. I walked in. It was maybe a little bigger than the platform <laughs> that this set is on. Like, well, there's no there's four of us in this. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine staying here? <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> there's a bathroom. It's fucking, it was fucking tiny. Um, yeah, so Ashley hasn't been at the place in L.A., and she came for E3. And oh, your place? Yeah, I was like, hey, this place is, you know, it's, like a, it's really awesome because, you know, it's like... Not much here, and it's like very minimalist and everything, and it's really cool because it's like you know just moving in and everything, and uh, and I'm only gonna be there for a short time. Then she shows up and she does that thing that women do, which is the explosion goes in the front door and explodes. Yeah. Yes, and it's just like makeup and clothes and every. And it's like this is not a big enough. Yeah, but place. she's only there for like a week. Uh, it's hard to describe the process, Barbara, but it <clears throat> happens, right? Yeah, yeah. Just like come in, like hotel rooms are the same way. I'll tell you, like you walk in, you're like, wow, there's two beds in here, and it's fucking huge. And look, typically, a desk. use a whole bed for some of your clothes, and then yeah. the entire bathroom for everything. Bathroom, every big counter to sink. And then this, you know, you're a dude, you're like brushing your teeth in the corner behind the toilet. Typically, the, you the no more, room anywhere. The more the attractive the woman, the bigger the explosion. Yeah, is what I found. <laughs> Have you stayed in hotel rooms with a lot of women? How many is a lot? More, more, less than how, how many more or less than I've seen your butthole. Like, is, that, <laughs> is that how that works, you guys? Uh, Did they see your butthole in that hotel room? I don't think so. <laughs> Lights are off. We'll, we'll have to consult the team. Ashley comes out. with another good explosion, though, too. She, that sounds weird. She, nice. Thanks, buddy. I was going to do, I was going to do that. <laughs> Did you see the English? Did you see the English yeah, uh, politicians? I was about to do that to Barbara and hit her in the chest, but then I realized, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> who, was, who was the politician? It was Corbin. Oh. Oh, yeah. The I was seeing if he would. Yeah. <laughs> Except yeah, I don't think he actually hits her. I just think it's a really great pantomime. I think he just goes in front of her, but the angle makes it look like Is he hits her like chest. Is it not like a pat? Oh, I thought it was just a It doesn't miss. make sense that she would hold her hand out like this, and then he would miss and hit her chest. It, yeah, I think it's I think, I think he just angle. stops, yeah. and it's just the angle makes it look like I don't know. I think chest. we should pull it up and analyze it. God, that poor guy. Unbelievable. But Ashley, when she hits the uh, door after work or whatever, she just, like, explodes clothes. Like, she just, she can't, she will not be in her clothes, like, for five steps into the house. Clothes which is, like, the greatest thing ever. But, yeah. Do you do that? No, I don't. How often is your penis? Go ahead. <laughs> just all out, all out around the house. <laughs> Probably not all that often, honestly, if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, if you're being honest? Honestly, if I'm being honest. Like, there's times where, there's certain scenarios where it'll take place where I'll have... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the thing. Here's oh. the, you guys had it for a second. Can we put it? Oh, I think they might be queuing it. Okay, yeah. so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that live? There we go. No, this is a few so, days ago. Yeah, see, I think it's just a really yeah, good pantomime. Yeah. Oh, it actually looked like he hit. No, he doesn't hit her. Oh, okay. It, it looks like he hits her in the chest, but I think he's just going to do a high five and just. That's a solid ass pantomime <laughs> on his part. It like, stops like he hit a wall. But um, I still can't tell. I need it from another angle. When I do my laundry, my laundry's downstairs, my bedroom's upstairs. So when I do my laundry, uh, I have very few clothes. I'm very... Yeah, but that's just because... Because I get rid of my clothes. I feel like you have few clothes because you like to say you have few clothes. It doesn't make any sense to have so few clothes. It makes total sense oh. to have few clothes. Why not? Because the more clothes you have, the less often you have to do laundry. No, that Then you end but up doing like The volume of laundry is the loads. same. Yeah. You still have to wear clothes every day. I literally have... I can wash all my clothes probably in two loads. I can't do any of my. I have some dry cleaning stuff like suits and button downs and stuff that I can't do, but yeah, it's like I basically, uh, basically, if I go two weeks without laundry, I'm out of clothes. I like saw. I, have to do it. <laughs> I saw something sense. so what stupid the other day. It's it's actually probably not even two weeks. It's probably ten days. But what if you're busy for ten days straight to do laundry? Yeah. Mush. <laughs> beep beep. 
<laughs> yeah, it must That's be it. deep, and then you're busy, and then you're like, still in the wet. Is you gotta dry it now and all that. And then he goes oh, right to the bung door. <laughs> <laughs> People send Gavin and I on Twitter. They send us photos of bung doors on washing machines <laughs> all the time. What's a bung door? <laughs> so that's it. He called a bung door on a washing machine. Yeah, because you can just bung it in after. <laughs> gotcha, started. gotcha. So it's a door, and it's got a little hatch. And you bung stuff in. And you can <laughs> bung oh, it Oh yeah, in. well it's already going. Yeah. Do you have a bung door? No, I wish I had a bung door. I saw- Next maybe, time, Gavin. Sent a bung door. Can we get sponsored by a bung door? Bung door. door. Like, I gotta read a sponsor right in a little bit. But I saw one of the dumbest things I've ever seen this weekend. Really? I was at Home Depot. Uh, what was I buying? I was looking for light bulbs. And I walked past the appliances. <laughs> That's like the only thing I can imagine you buying. Who buys light bulbs anymore? Light bulbs and beef jerky. That's the only two things in all. Oh Home man, Depot. this guy from my <laughs> this guy from my LA to San Francisco far, uh, San Francisco <laughs> flight. He was eating beef jerky and drinking Monster Energy drink at eight in the morning and was farting up a storm on my flight. <laughs> like I ho I overheard the flight attendants call our uh, our row the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> it was so farty and that's, in a row. that's amazing on a plane because your senses are deadened by the altitude yeah. and the air. Oh my you god. You can only kind of smell it. I was like, plane. I know it's you, asshole. We're fucking eating beef jerky and <laughs> drinking Monster at 8 in the morning. I mean, Jesus Monster, Christ. I understand drinking 8 in the morning because that's people's like energy drink that they drink in the morning. You but know, beef jerky? Okay. In this, game, in this game we play Battlegrounds, you can hear other people's footsteps, but then occasionally there's a plane that flies overhead. What's that noise? That's <laughs> Gavin's foot. There's a plane that flies overhead and it you know drops care packages. But when the plane is flying overhead, you can't really hear anything else. So people move around a lot during that. Yeah. Being on a plane, on the plane, is that all the time. So people feel like <laughs> all this freedom to fart all they want because they think they can get away with it. You know, it's because no one's gonna be able to like pinpoint who did it. Yeah. You can't hear it like you can't, you can't hear, hear it. it. Yeah. yeah. So you can't hear it on a plane, Barb. The you dumb invention I saw. I was walking past the appliances. <laughs> They had a washing machine, right? You know how a washing machines, you can get like that little pedestal that goes under it? I got, do I have that? What, like the drawer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They put a washing machine in that drawer. Oh, so it's like you have your big regular washing machine, then you've got a little drawer washing machine oh, under for, it. Oh, for like what? undies and softs? What? It's like if you you can run two loads at once. I don't understand. I don't. What's the pedestal under a washing machine? I have no idea what that is. You, it's like you can put a washing machine on this little stand, and uh -huh. it's like a drawer where you put like your detergent and stuff in it. Oh, but just like storage. Right. But instead of being storage, they put a wa another washing machine in there. So would it spin this way? I don't know. <laughs> so Gavin just kind of touched on something here. Do you wash your underwear separately? No, from everything? I put everything in one. Okay. Good. I put in like button-up shirts, underwear, towels. You're not yeah. supposed to do that. Table I put it all cloths. in one go. Yeah. Small dogs. Just throw them in. Flannels. Yeah, I mean, I wash everything together, too. That can be washed. I don't really give a shit about that. Yeah. If I but have, like, color spill, I've, I've never had that happen, but I wouldn't care anyway. The only thing I don't wash together if I have, like, a new, very colorful shirt. Oh, there oh. it is. That's fucking weird. The washing machine with another washing machine under it. What? That looks like a prop from a Marvel movie. It doesn't. Like, it, I, 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 that I, Loki and Thor are going to be fighting over that fucking I scoffed thing. at it. The, the one I saw... The washing machine, by its the top, the big washing machine was eighteen hundred dollars, and then the little washing machine was like another twelve hundred dollars. It wasn't part of the I'd, price, dude. Twelve hundred. I would absolutely buy just the lower one. And people go, "What is this fucking washing machine? <laughs> that's flat." I got like a like the old cocktail table video games, yeah. like Pac Man, that's in the yeah. tabletop. That's what that washing. You can wash all be. the clothes that you're currently wearing, and that's it. Just stack a bunch of like, <laughs> got like six, all stacked up. But I bet that they do that asshole thing where I bet the little one doesn't work without the big one. Like, I bet it has to draw water from another washing yeah. machine instead of connecting directly itself. Do you think... That's a nightmare. I agree with you. you turn one of those... That science has gone too far. Stop. Yeah, stop. Stop. Can you turn a washing machine into an aquarium? Sure, why not? Can you turn a TV into an aquarium? Aquarium? Mm -hmm. Aquarium? <laughs> a TV? Have you ever seen that before? How People thin think, are your fish? I've seen an old Max. Also. An old TV! <laughs> An old TV like that you don't want to ruin. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> We're at the point now in history Idiot. where an old TV is still a, like an LCD. Like nobody, nobody's old TV is a. a Gavin, do you a think that's what television. I meant? Television. Do you think that's what I meant? Jesus Christ! I knew what you meant. Uh, thank you. When you say you could turn a TV into a fish tank, your mind obviously goes to one of those old TVs that's a box with the antenna on it. See, you sit next to somebody so smart. You sit next to her every week. How come you don't learn anything? Yeah. Anymore? You want me to sit next to you? <laughs> Let me, let me read this thing. No. What if I said no? You always said let me. But Thanks to Maltesers. And it's not a question. It's let me read this thing. It's a shut up statement. <laughs> try, and, try and make it a question. Thanks to Maltesers for sponsoring this episode of the RT Podcast. Maltesers are now in the U.S. And uh, instead of just doing an ad copy read, we're going to play a little game. What? But I want to do their call to action. So uh, check out Maltesers on Instagram at Instagram.com slash Maltesers. 
give them a follow. Uh, we're going to play a little game where we're going to try to roll Maltesers down a tape measure into a bucket. I got my... Bucket. Maltesers bucket. <laughs> I got this. How hard could that be? From, like, way over there. They're perfectly round, right? Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't say they're perfectly round, but Are they're, they're very round. We're going to roll it down a tape measure? Yeah. Like a normal tape measure? Yeah. Like just grooved? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Inches or centimeters? Both. Inches, probably. What do you, how many? Barbara, you want to give a shot? Start at 10 feet. Barbara, go for it. Oh, so I have to get up? Yeah. Well, uh, yes. You want to try it also, Gavin? You want me to try it? You try it. I'll try it. How about that? Where's the bucket? It's over here. It's right here. Tape measure. Oh. Oh. Ah. And I'm not going to help you. You got to do it on your own. See how fast you can do it. And if you want to, like... <laughs> so these are from the UK, right? Yeah, multis are... They're made by Mars. Uh, uh, you're fucking it all it's up. It's a penalty, right? It's got to be a penalty of some kind. That doesn't count. Barbara just knocked it over. Is You're going inches. so slow, like the numbers are gonna surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to ten feet. To, to oh, she's if it, if it does a little popping thing, do it goes think, down. Do you think the weight will crush him? The weight of what? The, oh, the oh, weight oh. will bend the tape measure. Actually, they're really light. They probably have no weight. Come on, they gotta have weight. Oh, oh you oh. didn't even do it. It fell off right at the end. All right, give her another one. You already failed though. We can just cut that one. What, what happens if she doesn't get it? Do we have to cancel the podcast? <laughs> do we not get the sponsor money? I'm, I'm gonna do it then if she can't do it. Oh, she nailed, nailed it! Nailed it off the back. Backboard. You want to try uh, from you. further, or you want me to do it? I'll hold it for you. Right. I think Gus should do it from further. No, wait, I'm gonna hold it though. You're gonna fuck with me. Here, take this. It's just too much. Can I have a piece of candy? Oh. Thank you. This is harder than it looks. Fuck. You could do it, Gus. Here, <laughs> I got you. You should see if you can do it from the other set. I'm gonna do it from off camera. Do it from off topic. Do you want me to put it in the bucket for you? No. I feel like malt is underrated. Like, there's not enough malt in stuff. <laughs> like, it's just like... You only encounter it, like, a couple of different places. You only do what? What is malt? Like, who's, what's, is there, like, a malt farmer? <laughs> that grows the malt, <laughs> goes, out, goes out and works on the malt. Is it the same malt from malt <laughs> liquor? Yeah, I think it is. And also, like, malt that goes into malted milkshakes. Oh. Like, oh. how come there's not malt? You nice. that in? 12 feet. Holy Nailed shit. <laughs> how long is that tape measure? I win. How come there's no, like, malted pretzels? Thank you, Barbara. So, thanks to Maltesers. Go follow them on Instagram. Wait. That sounds like it'd be good. What is it, though? Where's malt? Is it grain? I don't know. Like is it, it must be, right? Like, I always think of, like, barley and malt. These are good. Get these away from me. I'm gonna eat too many of them. <clears throat> what, you want another package? Here, no, 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 no. Yes, they're delicious, but no. They're really good. So, welcome. That was fun. Welcome to the U.S. I'm glad, that, I'm glad that they're here, because I've missed them. I used to import them. Did you really? And now I can buy them at the you shop. It says, have on, a bite, have on one the of these. Product for Great Britain. Oh, can but I have chocolate? Just like you. I'm happy I read that. <laughs> well, it says, oh, it's, that's an aquarium. It's a washing machine aquarium. That's a Photoshop. Is that a Photoshop or is that know. real? That might be real. Yeah, All right, fair real. play. That's awful. It, it really is hideous, isn't it? Why I, would it, you do that? It seemed like a good idea in my head. I would hate that. Yeah. I want <laughs> a huge aquarium that takes up a ton of space unnecessarily and has a tiny little window to look. I mean, in. I like so, turn like, a car into an aquarium. If it was just the chrome bit, that would be wicked. I'd, I like circle aquariums. That's they, the, if you have jellyfish, they have to be circle, right? Yeah. Like you otherwise can't have get, a corner, otherwise they, they get blown into a corner and they die. They also can't really sit in, like, you have to keep the water flowing around all the time. Well, we're in the ocean, they were going to run into a corner. Think about it. <laughs> the ocean has no corners. Why would, yeah, that's none. Just keep going, you eventually loop back around. <laughs> so, does it make sense? Why would they have evolved to have to deal with corners? I was going to get a jellyfish tank, and then I realized you have to feed them individually. You have to, like, squirt food up them. Effort. What, what is, is that? that? It's a like a coffee. kettle. Is that a coffee, coffee pot? Coffee maker. <laughs> coffee pot aquarium? What if you turn it on? Uh, just, uh, they probably have a beta fish in there, because that's the only fish that could live in that small of a tank. Just putting that. It looks like a bunch of fish. Yeah, a goldfish can live in I that. I think it's rocks. Uh, goldfish what are all those wires? Tank that small. <laughs> goldfish can live in a tiny <laughs> bowl. Bomb. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, what no, else can be an aquarium? I think anything can be an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> anything, Literally anything. Any, that could hold anything water. Could hold water. <laughs> I want to make a beer bottle aquarium. Hey, speaking yeah. of stuff that can hold water, water, you put out a video with Dan getting inside the big six-foot balloon. <laughs> yeah. You thought of that? 
what 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 happened? What flopped out? His dick. Nothing really flopped out. It's just the water compressed his boxes around everything, and it left very little to the imagination. Oh, I see. You, and it was like it was the first time I've ever seen an erect, erect, but flaccid penis. Wait, does that mean he's a shower, not a grower? I don't know. It was just like wobbling as it came over, and it was like bolt upright, but small. How big is Dan's dick? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's just like really turned on when he's around you. Um, slow mo. Who is this? Uh, at chaotic monk on Twitter is saying malt is germinated cereal grains that have been dried in a process known as malting. What's a cereal grain? That's just grain. Another, like what, Cheerios? Cere- like wheat? Sure. Don't say sure. Chaotic it, monk, oh, tell us. You what can't cere- just say cereal grain. I mean, that's so wait, like... if you crush up a load of Cheerios and dry them, is <laughs> that malt? It must be a thing, because someone else, the TNT Raider, says malt is germinated cereal grains that have been dried. They're all well, copied and pasted from just, Wikipedia. Yeah, they just copied the all first line of farmers. <laughs> cereal. <laughs> go right to Wikipedia. Go look up Wikipedia. See what the see. Read the first line of Wikipedia. <laughs> go, go look do up it. Wikipedia. Go look up that Wikipedia. Is there a Wikipedia page for Wikipedia? A cereal. facebookcom Wikipedia. A cereal is any grass cultivated for the edible components of its grain. So wait, so dandelions? Is, <laughs> are they cultivated for edible com- components? Yeah. Dandelions? People, yes, people eat dandelions. Dandelions. <laughs> the ones Be- you blow on? Yeah, but they eat the leaves. They eat the bit. Dandelions. People eat dandelions. <laughs> they okay. eat the bit? Which bit? The leaf? <laughs> they eat the leaf. Is that how everyone yes. says it? So dandelions? It's just a dandelion? Stem. How do you say it? Dandelion. Dandelion? Yeah, dandelion. Examples are dandelion. Maize, rye, sweet, <laughs> barley, sorghum, millet, oats, rye, dandelion. and two I've never heard of. So rye. Okay. Read the, fir- dand- read the first dand- bit of Wikipedia. <laughs> on the list. The first bit. Then we look up Wikipedia? No, no, no. <laughs> Anybody on Twitter eating dandelions? <laughs> Let us know. Or dandelions. Look up malt on Wikipedia and see if they had copy and pasted the first malt. Line. Malt is germinated cereal <laughs> That's the first one, yeah. <laughs> it's his first line, right? Malt is germinated cereal grains that have been dried in a process known as malting. Fuck off. You guys are no good. You can't you can't pretend like you know something and just go to Wikipedia for it. Because then someone will like cut and paste something, and well, next thing you know, pre- you love Hitler. They're not pretending to know it. They're just telling us what it is, because we were asking. Yeah, they're acting like they know it. Though. We could do that, though, Bar. We could go to Wikipedia and look up I'm malt. just giving them the benefit of the oh, we're, benefit listen, of we're casting a wide net here. Somewhere in our audience, there's got to be a malt farmer. Like, somebody who's like... Heir to a malt <laughs> fortune or something like that. Somebody knows everything about malt. That person exists on the internet. But what else uses malt? My God. Uh, <laughs> malted, like malts, like malted milkshakes. Malted milkshakes. Uh, also, isn't it uh, like a product for beer. used in beer? Beer, yeah, malt liquor. People are tweeting us the most ridiculous aquariums I've ever seen in my life. Oh, let's, let's get them up. I've seen uh, a bong aquarium, a toilet <laughs> aquarium, a car aquarium. A car aquarium. Have you seen one that Jesus. is... Uh, Gavin's anus. <laughs> <laughs> the most appropriate aquarium of all. What shoe aquarium? In my anus? A shoe. That's dumb. <laughs> it's all dumb. All of them are dumb. I really, Having fish more is dumb. Eel. I really want question. one. Oh. Yeah, I guess that would. Could, like, come out of your pants. Why do you that. think Kevin's fish Look, is dumb? Look, I'm just that. <sighs> that that I, face I, they make. There's no point in having a fish. Why? Because it's just work. You get no reward out of it. What do you mean? It's, you look it's at visual. it. visual. You look at it? It's therapeutic. You what do you look at? The fish? You, you look the at fish. fish? He's saying it's dumb. You gotta clean fish. that shit? You gotta feed them? No, it's all bullshit. Wouldn't it? Oh, this is uh, Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels Aquarium? Fish? Look, if you have a lovely, <laughs> nice That is a picture of Jeff in the womb. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, Jeff. If you have a lovely <laughs> sort of aquascape, oh, wow. well-lit aquarium full of fish, it's that, lovely to look so at. That's so much work. Nah, he's absolutely right. It's no. a lot of work. It's true. It's you either go all the way, sharks, or nothing. That's what I <laughs> I really want a big old aquarium, but the only place I have that would fit it is upstairs, and I'm worried it will come through the floor. Because water's heavy in there. Yeah. Why doesn't it fit downstairs? Water's heavy in there. Water's heavy. I got too many windows. I don't think it would. F- like, you don't want to to put them in front of sunlight. I worry about every time I put my plates in my cabinets that my cabinets are going to fall off my wall. Because mm. <laughs> I like I lift the plates out of the. I'm trying to get the kids where it's like, fuckers, use glass. That's it. Just this is your glass. This is your glass. We have a color color coding system now. I'm trying to do that. They they like. There's 12 glasses in our cabinet. In the course of a Saturday, all 12 glasses get used. So four, you have people more, in the, four people in the house. Four people. So you have more glasses than outfits. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let me think about that. Yeah. I hate, I really do hate doing dishes. I hate doing dishes. Do you not have a dishwasher? I have a dishwasher. Does it have an aquarium in it? No. <laughs> why, so why do you hate doing dishes? It's just putting them it's in. It's just too much. You, like, you, you can't just put them in. Yeah. You gotta rinse it or like. No, you don't. Oh, dude. Not my, if you have a good dishwasher. My dishwasher 
it looked like the cheapest turd dishwasher I've ever seen in my life. It's, I think it's made by IKEA. It's brilliant. You just shove it in, everything comes out. Even if it's got like caked on. Yeah. Yeah, it's mine wicked. does too. Just blast it with heat. You just uh, put the hot water wash on. How often do you wash dishes? Uh, every two days. Oh really? Okay. Oh, that's a lot. I just don't like it stacking in my kitchen. Oh, I can't stand that either. I hate when shit stacks in your kitchen. <laughs> it drives me crazy, and I'm at home. I'm like, go clean your kitchen, Kev. So, you've, have you been spending much time living alone? In, in LA? general, yeah. In LA. Yeah. And I mean, is is your place clean now oh, that there's no one else in it? That's so clean. Everything's exactly okay. the best thing about like with kids, especially. My kids are kind of older beyond the stage, but yeah. it's so nice to when you put something down and it just stays there and it's like it doesn't go anywhere. You know, like oh, I I can set this, you know. Headset from my computer right here on my desk. I come back. It's right there on my desk. How, so many, do you how many glasses do you have? Oh, the, the other place? Uh, in LA? <laughs> I don't know. It came with glasses. It's a furnished place. Oh, okay. So. It came with glasses? Wait, has someone lived in it? Has someone lived they in it? they used glasses? They're, yeah. Yeah, probably used. Gavin, don't even get don't right. even get started. No, but don't even get started. You don't need to you don't need to be drinking out of someone else's glasses. Do you go to a restaurant, Gavin? Have you ever been to a restaurant? You know how many people drink out of those glasses? It's different. How is, how is it, it different? different? Because they're not yours. I'm with Gavin. It's not mine. No, it's not mine. I'm, I'm with my Gavin. personal glasses in my personal cupboard. They're mine. So, like, if, if you came over to visit me in my apartment, <laughs> you bring would you glass. not drink out of my glass? He'd bring his. No, I, I would. <laughs> I would, but I know it's you, and it's not some like gross, cold sore can, dude. Can I? Can I Do tell you, you something? Wash you, want, you want to hear an example when of the dirty, lunacy of way. Gus? <laughs> so yeah. I was at this Airbnb, right? Yeah. Anytime I go to an Airbnb, I hate the thought of using the glasses that are in there. Why? I do not. They're, they're dirty. washed. You, I will you go and buy this. disposable cups, like red solo cups, that makes sense. and use those instead of using the glasses that are already in an Airbnb. Absolutely makes sense. You no, know, would Gavin would do that <sighs> a because it's too much effort to go out. He would just either not drink or just suck it up and but drink. Out I of need glass. to go buy like shampoo and shit anyway. Like, do you ever go... use the glasses in a hotel room? And he's cheap. No, I, I'll, if they have like the the individually wrapped plastic ones, I'll use those. I will definitely not use glasses in a hotel room. Is that what are they for? They did a whole sixty minutes thing on Drinks. that. Yeah. They're not just for putting your toothbrush in. That's what I use them for. I wouldn't I, even do that. Don't use don't use a glass in a hotel. Don't even touch them. They did a whole expose on it. Like they don't wash them properly. Or they just like turn on the sink and they rinse it out and they just put it back on the counter. Oh. That's I mean. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I use them for is just putting my toothbrush in to hold it up. Yeah, I've never used one. None of that stuff works the way you think it does. Like you think they take the glass down and they take it down to the kitchen. They put it in that like auto chlor like massive high sanitizing machine. No, they just rinse it out in the sink and they put it back. Depends on where you are. Also, Maybe recycling, when you recycle Coke bottles, for instance, I always had in my head this idea that they would take the Coke bottles and they'd smash them up and they'd get the glass and they'd melt the glass and make new Coke bottles. Nope, they just rinse them out. Not bollocks. No, that's 100% that is totally true. true. 100% true. They just rinse them out and they put Coke back in them and that's bottles. Right. They, don't want, they, will, they do not want to take broken glass. So recycling. if someone came in a Coke bottle and then put it in recycling, you're drinking... Beer gets, gets really cleaned out. It gets yeah, super washed. Barber's mind. Yeah. Yeah. You thought it was all shredded and then they just like well, no, I, put I it mean, in a furnace. Well, it's the same thing with beer bottles, too. It's like shredded, but like, I wouldn't think just to rinse them out and just, I guess they're relabeled. Well, I mean, them. everything is just different particles. You can't really delete anything. But you again, I don't care because I'm not germaphobe like Every you guys. It's all carbon, right? <laughs> it's all it's laws of thermodynamics. It's just nothing can be created or destroyed. Well, nothing, it's all here. Nothing you own is new anyway. Go ahead. Well, like, probably if you buy a cup, someone's had it before, probably, haven't they? It might have been a different cup or a window or something. No. No? It might have been a window. You don't think you could get something new? Well, okay, do you have anything in your house that has never been anything we else? We don't live in like a post-apocalyptic <laughs> No, it means like everything's been made from recycled parts. That's what you're saying. You yeah, way like, overestimate recycling. There's one thing that's probably true of that. Aluminum foil it might be the only thing that's true for. Most of your aluminum that you use is recycled. They recapture an enormous amount of aluminum. What was the last thing you bought? Uh, I bought uh, trash compactor bags. I have a trash compactor at my house. I didn't put it in there. Wait, what? Yeah, I bought trash compactor bags, and I had Alexa help me do it. Trash Seems like that was a big deal. Like trash compactors were huge in like the seventies and eighties. I feel like nobody. Could just... you explain that to a caveman? A trash what compactor. What you just said. I I got Alexa. To <laughs> help okay, me. so when Grog, when you're done eating <laughs> and you have bits of food left, there's a place in my house. <laughs> Where I can put the, house? the old bits the, in my cave. There's there's a, p a place where I can put the old bits of food that I didn't eat but because why I have you... too much food. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one to tell. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you eat the food? Because I have too much food. 
because right. it might be bad. It's been out for four hours, right. so it might be bad food. So I put it in this device, and then what's a device? I put it in a like a jar, like a container, All right? And then this the jar smashes the container, the stuff inside of it, and makes it smaller, like presses it down, like stomping on it, and then that goes into a bag. <laughs> I forgot the whole bag part. And I I made it exist with my voice. And also, I didn't buy this thing. I didn't make this thing. It just came to me one day when I moved into a new So case. how does it not crush the bag? I, because it doesn't crush shit. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors. You put stuff in there. How long have you had this thing? Like, I'll put in bottles and light bulbs in it, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. And then I turn it on, it goes... And I'm waiting for the crunch. <laughs> Nothing. Then I open it up when it's done. There's a light bulb, squished <laughs> further down, <laughs> but not broken. Does it vacuum it? Maybe bulb? like remove all of the air to compress it. There's no air in a light bulb, though. That's why. That's why it wouldn't be. Cra- what? What? <laughs> <laughs> but then it would suck it up out of the 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 bag. Yeah. There's no like holes at the bottom of the bag that remove yeah. the air. I don't know. Isn't there a vacuum in there? What? In a light bulb. In a light bulb? Yeah. I don't know. No, there's got to be gas in there. In an incandescent light bulb? Yeah. I don't think it's not air. I think they put a, a like a argon gas in it. Yeah. Oh, it's different air. Mm-hmm. I know that once you breach the thing, it just the filament just dissolves itself if you turn it on. It just really? burns and melts. Matt and Anna for my birthday got me a Korean barbecue thing. It's like a little about the size of a small cooler, very small cooler, like one of those lunch coolers. Did you crush it in your trash compactor? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, nope. talk about blowing and stuff in air. So I was like, I I ran into this thing where they also got me with this little Korean barbecue. They got me this like Japanese charcoal that goes in it. Charcoal might be the the only thing I know that's flammable and listed as being flammable that you can't light on fire. Charcoal is impossible. It took me I'm not kidding. It took me an <laughs> hour to light the charcoal in this fucking thing. And then well, that's even why you after put a fire starter next to it. That's why I, I didn't have that. So <laughs> I will uh, trust me. Next time I'm gonna have. Like a gallon of diesel gasoline <laughs> and all those fire starters in the world. All I had was like newspaper, and I actually went out with an axe and like cut off little pieces from the firewood and just made like tinder. And that's eventually how I got it. Is there any like. difference between this is gonna be a dumb question? Difference between coal and charcoal? I don't think so. Well, charcoal's from wood. Charcoal's from wood. You can like there's the guy on uh, primitive technology did it uh, where he made charcoal from wood, and then coal is from. You would you would mine, mine coal? It. Yeah, like you can't. Rock. Yeah. So is coal flammable? Yes. So uh, charcoal's wood. Like, how do they make charcoal? They like I think you just they bur- just heat it. Yeah, you burn wood for a little while. It's like and wood, you got but without sort any of, of the. It doesn't waste heat on like the moisture in wood. There's yeah, like, like it's dry uh-huh. and there's nothing. Yeah, you've burned it already to remove that moisture and yeah. not left with you it. can you can get hot fire with charcoal than you can with wood. And then coal. It's just carbon deposits in the earth that get mined. And I mean, it's like 1600 instead of yes. 1400. Right. I don't know what temperature. It might be a high temperature. Interesting. When I just don't care. Charcoal is a waste of time. And no, it's not if you're melting metal. Okay. Go ahead. Do that. Have fun. Uh, I'll use my gas grill to make my little beef brisket sliders. That's so all. Wait, you got an axe. Where were you chopping this wood from? Uh, I have a little pile of wood outside my house. Coal uh, gas. It was, fire, it was firewood. Coal. I'm not going to put a log in this little thing, you know? <laughs> Coal gas burns at 3,590 <coughs> degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, maximum temperature of a coal... 3,990 degrees 590 Fahrenheit. degrees Fahrenheit? Mm-hmm. My number was higher. Uh, coal fire in a forge is about 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So you do not want to use that for your barbecue. No. Did it cook really fast? No. That's it. You're done. Um, what was I going to say? Coal. Kids love that Korean barbecue thing, dude. Oh, that's what I was going to say. They go nuts for it. I ate at a, like a charcoal Korean barbecue place in Seoul. Because normally you go to like uh, a Korean barbecue place and it's like propane or gas or some kind. But like I sought <laughs> out like a traditional charcoal place. It was really good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too much. Yeah. Do you like charcoal? Much. Are you one of those purists who's like no? I, 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 use, I use propane. I no, gotta, it's, yeah, it's because yeah. it's like it's, it, 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 it's Sorry, too much. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it's like so much. That. It's like charcoal's great as long as you have eight hours to make dinner. Then charcoal's perfect. And you're okay stinking so you're, you're, and smelling like, like smoke. Half a half a container of charcoal lighter on this shit. No, you just, just need light. one of those white squares. What's a white square? <laughs> it's a fire starter. It's like a paraffin. I got, I got those coming now. I ordered those. That's right, but too. that's like it takes one second, and then all your charcoals. Do, first of all, you, you do that. You still have to wait a while. This stuff wasn't also <laughs> like modern, first world. Uh, Japan, Japan's first world. So it's not like 
the cheap con- commercial <laughs> shitty char- do we have a charcoal sponsor today uh <laughs> no you're in the clear. it's not like that Just shitty mold. kingsford <laughs> stuff that you use it's it's like that stuff is like probably half gasoline. Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't think actually that stuff is half gasoline. But it lights super easy and it's very convenient. This stuff was like it made me work for it. It fucking made me work for it. It's weird. It's like these little like uh, cylinders of charcoal. You make everything more complicated. It was th- this was a combination of me and Anna because Anna. Matt's wife also makes things extraordinarily difficult because they're better <laughs> if they're harder, right? She also knows how to do everything and everything well. Because she's had to struggle with doing it the like most fancy way possible every fucking time. Like hand sewing buttons and shit like yeah. that. Like the way she you can make do it. She's, like she a can. Superhero. she's been through it. The way you make ice infuriating. Because I know you I, don't I, have I, time for that. That's great. <laughs> that's a great time. The way you make ice is infuriating. Oh, he, him. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, okay. Him personally. Oh, the way I, I, I thought ice. you meant ice it's in a, general. I press ice on my fridge. I have fridge. a question for you guys. Do you guys I, have ice trays? No. Yeah, I got those little silicone ice trays. Do you ever refill the ice <clears throat> tray before it's empty? Oh, that's a good question. What do you mean? I'm, like dump out old ice? No, like just if let's say it's half full. That looks like half empty. Nah, I'm emptying the ice tray all once. What? I, I empty the entire ice tray in one go. Do you have a bucket? You should. I feel like you should empty the ice tray into a bucket. Well, it's for the people who only like take an ice cube or two for a drink and then like leave the rest. Bucket. It's a lonely life, Barbara. It's a lonely life. I I have now a fridge that makes ice for me. You want like one cube at a time? Yeah. <laughs> my, I don't want to live too crazy. It was a long day. Ice. I'm gonna get two. <laughs> I deserve <laughs> this. Does your Does your fridge throw ice all over the kitchen and anywhere except your glass? Nope. Mm. Man. Unless I try to put it in a, a thing that has a spout that's too small for the ice, and then it just flies everywhere. I, I, I'm really sad he, what you're mentioning there, Gavin. You clearly have a refrigerator that has the ice in the door on yeah. the, on the outside. Have, yeah. yeah, that's why I've been talking about it. You, you have that? One too. That is the house I've lived in right before <coughs> this one, the one I just sold. The house I have now. Neither one of them has had ice in the door. I can't remember the last time. I had that. What, your old house had that water spout inside the fridge. Yeah, my, I've got, the house. I've got that. My <laughs> place in LA <laughs> has the same though. thing. That sucked. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. You the one in LA has that too. No, it's oh, the best. You should get one of those fridges with the bung door. <laughs> you get the one where, the, where yeah. it opens twice. It opens two different ways. So you can see what's <laughs> inside. So you can bung stuff in the front without opening the full door. It's a bung door yeah. in the fridge. So I've got like you, the water on the inside, or like the one you had. And right before I left to LA for E3, I was uh, I changed out the filter in the fridge, and I went to get some water. And as soon as I put the glass on it, like I filled it up, and I took my glass away, and it kept going. No, <laughs> that's what you don't want. So I had to get a I had to get like a bucket. I was like, oh shit, what's going on? What's going on? And, like I had to leave the bucket there, and I had to run and like shut off the water to my house. To your house. I've got a, I've got a quick shut off in my one of my closets. Okay. So I shut it off, and uh, like I pried that part off that faucet part so handy and uh like it's broke it's like a little plastic lever in there that triggers it to activate and the plastic just broke yeah it's like fuck because so you I, changed the filler well it's because it, it just coincidentally that's when i uh got yeah. new water <clears throat> so then i ordered a replacement part do you know one of those sites where they have like every like, exploded diagram yes. of your fridge and you get down and and i ordered part thing. ec 1897f or it's whatever the part. fuck it was got it in it's good not one. the same <laughs> then the, the new part fit it looks the same but the activation, like to push it, like the plastic is thicker, so you gotta push much harder. Push no. much harder. I fucking hate it now. So it's a different Get feel? in there and put like yeah. a rubber racer on it. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Do that. Yeah. Why don't you just use it over and over again until it wears down? And I, 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 honestly, I'm thinking, about, do they have like appliance junkyards? Because I want to go find one that was like the one I had originally. Because it was much easier. Now it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Samsung. Explain that to a kid. Now that must be the most first world problem. Is that? <laughs> that was I have okay. to push it's hard to get my water. <laughs> <laughs> I have to push. I have to go. Is it getting water like harder. this? I have to go. Eh. Maybe you should just <laughs> lift more weights. You know, though, what I would <laughs> love from my fridge <laughs> is if it had a pool of water ready to go get for out. an aquarium. No. <laughs> get out. <laughs> is it because because you? I push it in and I got a big bottle thing. Brag about it. You wait there for like forty seconds while it fills up. I want it to always have that much water stored, and it just goes, <laughs> dumps it in one go. You will want that right up until the moment that you have children, and then you will curse at that thing that dumps water out <laughs> all over your and floor. I guess until it, it breaks, and that tank just comes right maybe out. Maybe you just want a little bit of water. It, I guess I, it can't sit there too long. It'd have to like empty itself every hour just so it's fresh. Well, but. I don't get why they don't make toilets with the, the, the elevated uh, tank anymore. It's a pain in the ass. It's ugly. It goes on the ceiling. What's going on over your toilet? Why, why do you want that toilet like that? Because pressure. With the pressure. 
got the pressure. It well, goes up okay. because of fire. Well, we already pressure you in the, in the <laughs> pipe. Pressure. So if you use that toilet, are you under pressure? Un- yeah, because you're underneath it, you don't right? Need, you don't need that additional pressure, though. You know, what are these turds that you can't <laughs> blast away with a normal bulb? I'm box? just saying, <laughs> in general, in general in my house, in my life, I want, I want more water pressure. I want more water pressure. In general. Get a We've power talked shower. about this before. Get a power shower. Stop that. That's not a thing. It's a thing. No, nope. it's great. You want to put a tank up on a hill and let's run it down. That's gravity. Gravity. I've got, gravity isn't as fast as, as a power shower. I've got a shower head that has a built-in water filter in it. Why? It's great. Why? It, Are you worried about the cleanliness of the water? It doesn't. Le- it doesn't stain the glass in my shower anymore. No, oh, like it doesn't. It doesn't leave, it, it's, trust me, it's amazing. It That's doesn't. Leave, it doesn't leave water deposits. But the problem with it is, since there's a filter in the shower head, the water pressure's less, Aww. and it drives it's me so fucking not worth crazy. It. You got like, too much Brita in my shower head, and now it doesn't come out as far. <laughs> Don't leave a stain though. That's dumb. Yeah. Dude, do what I do. Just take the the shower and take it off. Then you just got that little that, space. Like, they beat under a garden hose. <laughs> best thing ever. Spizzing? Just like the pipe coming out, just like spraying <laughs> you. Just you. Have <laughs> pipe spraying you in the face yeah. when you shower. It's the best, Barbara. It's the best. How is a pipe without a shower head more forced than one with a shower head? Because it's just like a straight column of water. You only get like one spot that's in your <laughs> forehead, you know, and you gotta move around. What you want is a guy above you with his thumb on a hose. That's what you want. Where do Dude, you want his thumb? I just want somebody to dump a bucket on me. I was at a water park with my kids in Alabama. And it was just really cool. What? Just you say like what's wrong? I don't know when you went to Alabama. I'm just shocked. That was like a year ago, right. like last summer. I'm going to summer before. But uh, they had this huge, <laughs> fucking huge bucket, like almost as big as this stage. I'm probably exaggerating, but a big bucket, like size of that wall. And it was elevated up, and it was on like a rotating hinge, Gus. Yep. And when it filled up, it would fill up with water. And when it filled up enough, it would then dump over. And then once the water was out of it, it would just rotate back up. Sure, it was like a weight weight thing, mm-hmm. you know. But it was like every five minutes it took for it to fill with water, and it would start to tilt, and you'd see it coming. And man, it was like, did it knock you down? Oh, just, yeah, Gavin, it was so great. I don't yeah. know what it is. I like a ton of water. You will love the next giant balloon June video that is really? coming out because it's that. You should. Are you doing a giant balloon year? June. Nah, just June. Just June. Oh, just June. I giant balloon June. I put a, a Twitter poll out for the peeing in the shower thing. We talked about it on the podcast again, but you weren't here that week. Uh-huh. Almost 20,000 people voted. <laughs> yeah, well, Very si- intense. 63 million voted for Trump, so I don't know what you're saying. Wow. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> point. Uh, but 77% said yes, that they do pee in the shower. 70%. 77%. Some people just want to agree with you. No, I... Most people The people do. who agreed with you get very hostile on Twitter. They're v- I would say the opposite. Because you're trying to hostile. shame them. People always get mad if they think you're, you're trying to shame them. I didn't make the poll. So why would they but be But they hostile? know the I argument. Know. They like come after me. Like, I didn't say shit. You are an animal and you're filthy and you shouldn't do that. That's the shaming part. Well, now I'm shaming you're them because they come after them. me. You're shaming them. You're shaming you too, it. dirty. Why? <laughs> I'm so clean. Pissing all over yourself in the shower. Yeah, what are you piss talking about? Legs. What it's are you talking about? Legs. It's totally. Pure. There's not piss on my Unless legs. you have a shower. Are, it comes off within 10, like 10 milliseconds. You need a shower head that's in the floor going up. So it sprays it back at me? No, just to clean like the inner. Leg polish bit. The shower goes all the way down your no, body. No, it doesn't go in your cracks. Yeah, it does. How do you wash your ass crack in the shower? Well, you just peel it open and lean. And you can't do that with <laughs> your Has the shower leg? head ever seen your anus? <laughs> and lean. <laughs> peel it open and lean. You're a piece of shit. Well, how do you wash your gooch in that? <laughs> what do you mean, how do I do it? Like, what's your technique? In like the shower? My butt or my everything? <laughs> I just, I, I have two hands gooch. and I get soap on them. Oh, you actually I, like wipe your hand up your gooch? Yeah. How do you think you is wash that a your weird leg thing? then? Is, is, like, what do you, do I'm you, in the shower. Do you use no, like you a rinse? body wash or do you use like a bar of soap? I use it, Irish so many Spring ways. Premium. I love Irish Spring. <laughs> they, I didn't know they had a premium. Wait, so they have a, they have a fancy version of Irish. So how do you rinse it? <laughs> what do you mean? How do I rinse it? I'm in the shower. Fucking description. But, well, the, it doesn't go under your gooch hole. You lean over a little bit. See, this is why. This is where's the gooch hole? Do you? This is why I want. Do you have an anatomy of the shower head? I don't have a detachable shower head, but okay. also, if your argument is that my leg's gonna be all full of piss, oh do you are your legs just filthy then because they don't? No, no, I'll get tell showered? you what though. If I do an all body suds foam, like shower gel net, and I just stand under the water, there will be soap like stuck under there because the water is going around it. So I have to do leans and pulls and to hey. get to get really rinsed. You know, do you not do that? 
Why'd you get a washcloth? <laughs> I mean, is that is this a, a washcloth or like is yeah, a, crazy a poof idea? or something? You know, detachable shower head. Let me ask you a question: Are you one of those people who, when you get out of the shower, you don't use the same towel for your butt that you use for your face? Uh, I just have one towel. Okay. Because that's filthy. Those animal. people are weird. That's weird if you're that afraid of your own body. Speaking of piss, <laughs> <laughs> this might be this the world's worst segue to, to a sponsor ever. Have you ever wanted to walk your dog and you're not at home? Oh. Yes. Oh, Let oh, that's me a tell you about WAG. Great. <laughs> great segue. See, that's the only do- sponsor that could ever I use I stand that corrected. Segue. Your dog is family, right? You love your dog. I buy but the dogs reality dogs. is that sometimes you just can't be there to attend to their needs. That's Wouldn't cool. it be great to have someone you trust take care of your dog when you need? Let me tell you about WAG. It's an on-demand app for getting a dog walker, kind of like an Uber for dog walkers. It's a lifesaver, especially if you have a busy schedule. WAG provides easy booking for all needs. They have thoroughly vetted walkers, so you get quality people that have lots of dog experience. You'll be automatically paired with a certified walker available near you. WAG offers informative and fun features for your peace of mind. You get a text message when your dog's walk starts, live GPS to track the walk, notifications when your dog pees or poops, and a photo report card summary after each walk. Best part, you don't have to be home. WAG sends you a free lockbox so you can leave alternate home access instructions in the app to let your walker in, or you can leave alternate instructions. Uh, WAG only walks your dog. There's no group walks. Services are insured, so you and your home are covered. WAG is really a must-have app for every dog owner. Can't stress that enough. It's a one-on-one experience. Just your walker and your dog. It's not a group of dogs. It's one-on-one. You get your first WAG walk free by texting ROOSTER to 25324. Text R-O-O-S-T-E-R to 25324, and WAG will send you a link to download the app and get your first dog walk absolutely free. Great service. Awesome. Is it U.S. only? Uh, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm in the U.S., so I've only used it here. My dogs are in the U.S., so I know that. Oh, what if I just want out. somebody to go over and pet Joe the cat? Did they do that? That's a different app. That's a, that's a, I like that's that they're different. like, this, this a dog. we're not Uber Pool. It's no, 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 no other dogs there. Well, that's a big deal. Like, you see people, like, uh, you go to a big city, there's, like, dog walkers with tons of dogs. Like, you worry about your dog, and I'm very protective of Other my dog. dogs are jerks. Let's just call yeah. them. Yeah. It's like, so I want to I make sure my well-behaved. dog gets all you the You don't want any frisky needs. business happening there. Right. You don't want Harry from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, right. That's a good point. In the back of the van. Nice reference. You don't want to break your thumb like Colton. Oh, what man. Broke Who's his it? finger. From a dog? Yeah, his dog got in a fight with another dog at the dog park, and it was a bad owner, and Colton got in there to break him up, and... Doesn't know how it happened. Have, everything happened super fast, and he like broke his finger. Oh my god! I imagine maybe like the leash got stuck around it or something. Yeah, he says <clears> he said he just remembers coming out of it. And he's like, "Ow, my hand hurts." And yeah, that was that's a whole of the first movie. He had a, a good busted thumb. Thanks. Yeah, I've been working on that one. Yeah. What? There you go. That's my there you go. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. I, I'm always curious. Some people are real asshole dog owners. Adam, if you're watching the podcast, why doesn't the wireless network work? I blame you. Uh, like, I see people all the time walking near where I live who, like, don't pick up after their dog. Oh, uh, it's worst. It's yeah. Phil. It's like, if you're not going to be that responsible, don't own the dog. In downtown LA, I've always watched people, like, let their dogs poop on the sidewalk. It's just like... Do they clean it up? I don't kind of stick They're, around. They usually stand by with a bag, but, I mean, I, that could be a, a ruse. <clears throat> I can walk down the street and they just, like, put the bag in their pocket and, like, heh heh. And then, you know. I don't see a lot of dog shit on the road. There are know? so many good-looking dogs in downtown LA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, like walking be to and from the convention center every day, I was like, oh, I want to pet that dog. I want to pet that dog. Isn't that just every dog, though? No, they were good looking dogs in LA. Man, whenever I see any dog of any type, I want to pet it. See, I always think about that when I see service dogs. I always think about you, Gus. What is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, someone someone tweeted us uh, <laughs> this photo. Who was it? It was uh, Jet <laughs> Fur. So you said it was uh, Jeff in the womb. <laughs> there you the go. fish in the Jack Daniels bottle. I think he uh, <laughs> That's so great. He illustrated I love how simple it. that drawing is. Little, b- little baby boy was born. Isometric. That's fast. Uh, what were you going to say? You said uh, whenever you... Well, well to be fair, it's a shitty drawing. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> why Why isn't... I was tweeting about this the other day, because I had mm. an Instacart deliver some milk. but I was Just out. milk? Ah, some other crap. There was milk in it. And I wasn't home. I was like... Ah, you end up buying it. food that you don't want, because you got to hit that limit. That's true. Yep. Why... Yep. But I just don't buy batteries. You just and order stuff. it for a time you're going to be home. You could cha- you could choose the delivery time. I don't know. It was spontaneous. Went out. Unpredictable. Went out. Didn't plan the day, and then uh, the milk got hot. And I was thinking, why isn't there little like dump buckets in front of houses? Like use the outdoor outlet if you've got one, and they can just put cold stuff in it. There's there used to be just there, buy there a is fridge a and put it on your porch. Problem solved. When someone just come steal it, buy a fridge, put it on your porch. Done. I just solved That's your problem. Massive. There's a service here buy in Austin. Buy a dorm fridge. Buy okay. a small fridge. And also, why would someone, like, it, they leave it on my porch anyway? Why wouldn't someone why nick it there? 
Uh, you think that more it's a nick it because it's in a fridge? Either way, I don't know why they didn't nick it when it was in front of your it's house. Mighty refreshing. Who nicks someone's milk? I would if I was looked out have... hungry and looking for food, and there was a pile of groceries sitting in the front of someone's house. Fuck yeah, I'd take it. There is a service here in Austin. Yeah. Or there's a store. It's called a Soup Peddler. Now they have like a restaurant you can go to. But the way they started was once a week they would deliver food to you. Uh, kind of like a Blue Apron kind of thing, right? Where, yeah. But it's already all cooked. <laughs> everything's all done. Uh, then what you would do is when it was your day of the week, like let's say you're getting your food on Tuesday. You just, what they would tell you is in the morning, leave a cooler with ice on your porch. Then when they deliver it during the day, they put it in the cooler and it stays cool. And when you come home, it's still fine. Well, that's what? good. But if you do that regularly, that's a pain in the ass. You might as well have like a powered Once cooler. A week. All right, well. Easy enough. Just powered just coolers like called a refrigerator. They have them. <laughs> yeah, well, buy one whenever like you want. A full blown I fridge. Like I just need a cold box. Your I'm gonna situation blow your fucking mind is here not common second. enough. It's not common. I enough? can't. I don't wireless. No. Look up a dorm fridge. You Patrick, for God's sakes, show this man a dorm fridge. When you, I, I don't want like a crappy like mini fridge for beer and that. Well, what do you want? You want an outdoor box no, that, that keeps things cold. That won't work outside. Because those fridges. Why wouldn't it work outside? It's just like a tiny cold piece of metal in a box. You need like a, it, in Texas heat, you're gonna need something more powerful than that. There, that's a dorm fridge. Why don't you? Bam! Just Look at all the things you can fit in there. Be home when you. I'm order hardly your... ever home. So don't order groceries if you're not home. But I'm gonna be home. So put the so fucking order the the when you get home. Time when you get home. Make it late at night. Oh Can't look, order. outdoor compact fridges. <laughs> okay, put your fucking money where your mouth is and order one right now. How you much? Want is this that? thing? You're tweeting about but it. It has to be good enough. And you're getting everyone in a panic. These are designed <laughs> for outdoor use, for oh God, like a, attaching to like massive. barbecues. No, four point one cubic you just feet. Said the that's bl- tiny. That one's too small, and this one's I too want big. The what small, do you want, Goldilocks? I want the small size with the power that You're, can withstand forty degrees. How big? How big? Uh, how big? Size of milk. One milk. <laughs> No, like, maybe like a milk, like two milks. <laughs> two milks. <laughs> what if you're ordering other cold stuff? What if you order well, milk and peas? Look, here's a 24 <laughs> inch one. Okay. How big is that? <laughs> two feet. Two feet. <laughs> uh, feet. Less than a. Uh, wait, do you guys use yards? Meters? <laughs> Look, that's exactly what you want. That's exactly it. I'm not convinced that would work outside. Here's an heat. outdoor one. Outdoor. It's Refrigerator outdoor. with freezer. Okay, so now how do I convince delivery people to use it? Post hey. notes. Yep. Yeah. Special piece instructions. Of tape. instructions. Instructions on the delivery. Put it in the little the little cooler. Instead of being like gate code or whatever. Give me your credit put, card. Put this. In. Do it. How Tw- much is it? Twenty three hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, it. <laughs> it is 20, not. It's from des- the washing machine. Go ahead. It's, it's designed for, for extreme heat in the outdoors. Okay, somebody needs to kickstart a tiny, affordable. Very powerful. The size of one. Do you want an ice maker? Do you want an ice maker? Like it's two fifty more. <laughs> what is it for an ice maker? Yeah. Okay. Comes with an ice maker. You can have we're, it. we're too much on the subject of small. Fridges. Left hinge or right hinge? What I actually want is a cold mailbox. That's a refrigerator. <laughs> That's a That's refrigerator. <laughs> what? You no, 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 no. L- listen, listen. Every mailbox is just out there, and they're hot. If they were cold, you could use them for envelopes. They're being a bit cold. <laughs> what does that mean? Or milk. Specifically milk. <laughs> what? Who? How many people in this world are getting milk delivered to them where they can't actually be there? Just you. People making cups of tea. What? And they're what, busy. Mailboxes should be cold. Do you, do you live in England in you the nineteen sixties? <laughs> where, where? Dude, where, I had a milkman growing up. Milkman. I did too. I had a milkman. Even though he said and nobody nicked my damn milk. <laughs> milkman. Yeah, but did they have a fridge for it when they delivered it? No, it was England. It was cold. It was winter. <laughs> the milk was cold. It'll stay cold all day. So only order milk during the winter. Oh, I'll get out of here. I want a oh. cold mailbox. <laughs> do, do, do you remember, have you ever seen that photo? <laughs> I'm gonna solve your problem right now. Get a fucking cow. <laughs> Keep him in the backyard. It'll be cheaper. It'll come out cold. I can't use the milk straight away. Get, oh, no. You can't jizz milk into cereal. I, there's, I, I knew a guy who grew up on a ranch. He doesn't actually like cold milk because of that reason. Because he got such fresh milk. He doesn't yeah. like... He, he also doesn't like milk... He, because he would get actual cow milk before they do that like separation yeah. and pull the cream off and everything. They would fight over like who got the, the top. Do you of remember the milk we got in India for our cornflakes? Oh, that's good. Was it straight from the cow? <laughs> it was like steaming hot milk. Yeah, we got hot milk. Did you ever? You ever have you ever seen that photo uh, of the Blitz in World War II? It's like a, a London street that's destroyed. It's been bombed, and there's like a milkman stepping yeah. over the rubble. Keep yeah. calm and carry Keep on. Keep calm and carry on. There, that was staged. Yeah, it was fake. 
apparently the whole photo was staged. The photographer wanted a way to get out a photo of the destruction, but the UK government would censor all of that. So he had his assistant dress up like a milkman and pretend to be a milkman walking over the rubble so that way he could get a photo of the destruction out. And but it they would did capture it. the mindset of people just getting on with it, though. Right. Like, people were It was effective. That. Very yeah. effective. But it's like, that, uh, he, like the guy... The photographer was smart, like just trying to think of a way around the system. Well, like that yeah, that was famous a great picture. Stiff up a lip. Photo from the U.S. on V-Day when the sailor, I think, is kissing the woman in the streets. Yeah. And he, she did not want to kiss him. He like grabbed her. Oh, really? Kissed her. Yeah. And I, don't she, know that. I think she had a husband. Yeah, but a bunch well. of people have claimed to be that woman. I think a lot of people claim to be the dude. Am I you wrong sure? there? Oh, there's the the milk. Totally not how that I remember that picture in my head. Yeah. Carnage. With firefighters in the back, like still putting out a smolder. In my building. head, that was it was wider. Like he was smaller in the frame. And I also thought he was lower. Like it like was shorter? You, low, like the camera was up on a like a rubble pile or something, looking down towards Yeah, maybe there's a cropped version <clears throat> or something. Maybe there are multiple versions. Get a milkman. I bet you get a milkman in Austin. That doesn't right. solve the problem. You can't keep milk outdoors. Because what if he's out for the day when the milkman comes? Yeah, I'm never, get a fucking doing? cooler. What are we doing yeah, now? In your I'm backyard. Right now. Am I there ready to accept my milk right Did now? Did you not know you were going to be here tonight? Schedule it for another day. Would you have scheduled a delivery for 7 p.m. today? Or 6 p.m.? Knowing that you'd be on the podcast? Uh, the shrug. No. He's shrugging. We're not, we don't, you can't see him. He's shrugging. <laughs> <laughs> what am I know, most, of it, most of your problems in life can be solved. J- just get a fucking car. Get a car. Go get your own fucking milk. Get a car. We're gonna have autonomous cars. You'd be driving home from use. work, and you'd stop and buy fresh cold milk, and you could drink as is much as you want. Is it a good use of my time to go out and get milk and bring it back there? Do you need milk? Is it a good use of no. your time to drink milk? It's How about that? Use of Let's time. get down to the fundamental problem here. To is it a good use of your time to drink the fucking milk? If it's a lovely cup of tea, and I'm low on energy, and I'm like, oh, I'll get some caffeine. Then it is worth it. Yes. No. You just because I could not do it, you and could I could do get it the same effect when it gets delivered. Do it on your way home from being out. Gavin, <laughs> you want somebody <laughs> to start a Kickstarter for your cold mailbox. Cold mailbox. You box. don't want to go down the road and buy milk. Everyone would buy him. How? Ooh. Lock and cool. What's there that? you go. That's exactly. Is that a Kickstarter? <laughs> is that real? I don't know. The lock and cool. Lock and cool is a chilled home delivery box for all your perishable shopping deliveries. Oh. Gavin, is exactly what you want. The lock and crate. Lock and see me. Lock and cool secure delivery box can be installed to the outside of your property. Receive all. You're chilled and non-chilled shopping. To get your I free think. lock and cool, just use the tag. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nichelle T uh, on Twitter just tweeted, My next door neighbor just texted me making sure I'm all right because she heard men yelling. The outdoor fridge argument is on. <laughs> <laughs> it was going through the walls. Tell your neighbor to mind their own fucking business. <laughs> Tell, Tell your neighbor to buy a fucking fridge. And a first and membership. Put their milk in it. <laughs> and tune in. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Received Podcast <laughs> is also brought to you by World of Tanks. World of Tanks is an epic, team-based, massively multiplayer no online action console game dedicated to tank combat. World of Tanks console has a special offer for new players who sign up this month. Go to the link below, grab your free tank, garage slot, and three days of premium game time while this lasts. Number of registration codes is limited. World of Tanks console was built from the ground up for consoles, taking full advantage of both PlayStation and Xbox's unique capabilities. Choose your combat vehicle from eight nations. It also includes legendary tanks from World War II. The battlefields are enormous and detailed. They feature a variety of terrain plus weather effects. You can take part in joint operations to track and destroy enemy units, engage in head-to-head duels where your speed and reaction time are critical for victory. Regular updates offer new content and weekly special events. So don't forget to sign up this month. Go to the link below. Grab your tank, free garage slot, three days of premium game time while this lasts. The number of new player registration codes is limited. And you can also see the code right there. Click on that or type that in. Rooster tank. Now I want a rooster tank. Let's get get a rooster tank. Can we get a rooster tank? Put it with the face of that poster. You think tanks had poster? Poster. (laughs) (laughs) Near me, good poster. Um, I got so much shit, by the way, for saying that Shia LaBeouf is a good actor. Was that on here? Was that on? It was here. You talked about Fury. Yeah. Oh, he's good, though. Tank, he's, he's, he's great. I mean, he might be a lunatic. His personal life is something else, but his work is good. Yeah, it's, it's one of those Tom Cruises where it's like, as soon as he's on the screen, it's like, yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah, I love him. I just saw him in uh, iRobot. I watched iRobot on a plane. And he's the kid that is always, like, yeah. around Will Smith harassing him. Huh. And he's great in it. I mean, he's, he's really, really great. In it he too. was a kid actor? Huh? Yeah. He, he was, was uh, in, uh, like, Disney or something. He was like, uh... Oh. He's in Holes, yeah. Holes. Oh, right. Damn. Um, Didn't realize that was Shia LaBeouf. 
Man, so I, I always I always think of Transformers when I think of Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. yeah. And they're making another one. Why? Another fucking Transformers movie. He's not in it though, right? No, no, it's like no, it's Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg or, yeah. Why the fuck? Why the fuck does that guy get work? They're always like trying to kill Optimus <laughs> Prime. Isn't Optimus Prime dead at this point? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I watched the I watched the first one with you. In I mean, New he's Jersey. not that old, but he's in his Optimus Prime. Who were we with? Stop. We were there on a trip. I don't know. Who was that with Jason? Uh, he's passed Maybe. Optimus Prime. And uh, we watched it, and I, that's the only one I ever saw. I was like, this is garbage. Walk, I'm never, never watching another one. I like I've known you th that long that we've watched the first Transformers together. I think that was a long time ago, <laughs> I guess. Like, was it 07? Yeah, 10 years. Been? Yeah. I watched Black Swan with Joel and Jack when I was visiting Austin in 2009. How'd that go? It was awkward as fuck. <laughs> I think I watched Super Bad with Matt. Hole? Yeah. <laughs> Super Bad's funny. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time. I think is, is Transformers the last movie I've seen with you. We've not gone to the theater again since then. Yeah, aside from like a screening of something we did. I don't know. Hmm. Did Did you not see uh, Hardcore Henry together? I was there. Were you? I there? was there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We didn't go together, but we were both there. We were yeah. both there. Man. That counts. Have everyone seen Wonder Woman already? Yeah. Yeah. Really good movie. Hell yeah. I was very happy with it. Yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite bit? Uh, I like the Amazon stuff the beginning. That, I, felt, I liked that a lot. I What's really like the bit where... Don't spoil anything, because some people might not... She's, like, it. trapped in the tank tread on the ground. Oh. And uh, then she gets a flashback to what he said. And then she's like, I'm going to get up now. Oh. <laughs> and she's just, like, blast, bolt upright in the air. Yeah. It's a really cool moment. I like the charging the trench. Yeah. No right. man's land. Right, right, like, running through no man's land. I liked when uh, they were in the... What was the Amazonian place called? Oh. Thermisia or something. <laughs> Whatever that like, was. But when uh, the Germans were coming, and then you see all the Amazon Amazons like run over the cliff. Yeah. And it's that moment of just like women. You're fucking badass. <laughs> and dude. then they're like, oh, bullets, Jesus. Yeah, that kind of hurt. And they're doing all those like cool flips and shit. And Robin, right, or, right, Robin right, yeah. Fuck the fucking heroes. Smoke show in there. I have a after seeing that movie, I have a huge crush on, on Gal Gadot. Oh, really, Gal Gadot? Yeah. I like Robin Wright. She's pretty fucking hot. Gal Gadot is like. Apparently that movie is banned in Lebanon, I Saudi Arabia, maybe. I think it's Lebanon because uh, <coughs> she's Israeli and was in the Israeli army as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's IDF, right? Yep. It was a good movie, but the people are going over the top on how it's like the first movie with a strong female lead. <laughs> Superhero. Oh yeah, sure. I think it's, I mean, it's a like, milestone. I'm just saying, because I watched, it's a superhero. The, I watched yeah. the movie yeah, and but I... People are saying it's like, in it's general, a, just... And also, she wasn't like... Like, I Alien mean, was a strong she female was, lead. Yeah, and I mean, how, that was fucking 40 years ago, dude. Yeah. I mean, she was movie. supported by a male counterpart, but it's not like she was helpless without him. It was like more of like the kind of fish out of water thing instead of like the man saving the day and like dragging her along for the movie. Yeah. I thought it was done well. I wish the female villain had been stronger. Female in, villain? In mm -hmm. Oh, oh right, right, yeah. The lady, the the scientist, oh, Doctor oh, Poison. Oh. Like she, at the end of it, she just seems insignificant. Like I kept waiting for her big moment to come. Do you think yeah. it was like a red herring thing where they were like, <clears throat> it was like a misdirect or something? Well, there was the identity of someone they were trying to figure out. Yeah. So that was that was a big deal. Also, you know, she was super the hot. Movie's great. The villain was kind of I, I had trouble like kind of yeah. Playing. The well, villain it's was because you like, don't really know who the villain is. Yeah, it's kind of like, eh, yeah. You reach a point bit. in the movie where you're like, okay, is the movie over? Oh no, now we know the villain. Yeah. Like, and then there's like that whole little bit at the end. Yeah. yeah. The facial I... hair. What happened to my hair? No, the facial hair. I didn't, oh, buy, yeah. I didn't buy that. That drove Ashley nuts. As a god. <laughs> that drove Ashley nuts. The facial hair. <laughs> like a 40s tash. Yeah. But it was good. I, I remember thinking that I wish that movie existed when I was a kid. I like it better than Captain America for sure. Yeah. Why? Because you have something to look up to? Yeah. Well, just like the the amount of empowerment I felt after that movie was like astronomical. And I never had something like that when I was a, a kid growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Like a movie like that. I mean, I did. I had Superman, you know? Yeah. Like you run around with a cape in the front yard after that. Mm -hmm. Dreaming about being Superman, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy that we've made it this far. I mean, your reaction is one that I've heard from lots of different women. And mm -hmm. it's crazy to me. Made it this far. 2017 before we have that kind of thing. It's just like. There's some really condescending headlines, though. Like. Women are now finally ready to direct. There's like a variety. Oh, yeah. Finally ready to direct big budget movies. It's like no, oh, because no. they just weren't ready before. They, 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 were, they were just they, waiting. They've been ready. They've been there. Oh, now we'll do it. I mean, yeah. Look at. I mean, there've been plenty of great examples of that. I mean, Hurt Locker. Yeah. But it's just like. I mean, that, even that was years ago. Didn't that win for yeah. best picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe best or director. Best too. director. Yeah. One of the two. I think it's just like old 
dude Hollywood is dying off. That's the only reason. Yeah. Like, they can't prevent it anymore. That's <laughs> the way it is with most things. Yeah. I was ready to fight every single man that walked out of the theater by the end of it. <laughs> what were you going to do? I, like, I, there was this weird sense that I got when the, the movie ended and everyone got up to leave the theater that, like, it, all the guys in that theater were a little afraid of the women in there. Because we felt very empowered and, like, ready to beat someone up. Like, just for fun. Just you thought you were going to beat up the guys? Yeah. I thought Lucy Davis, I think was her name, was great in it. Is oh, that? she was a uh, Don from the British office? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The love interest in the office. Is that was, uh, his assistant? Etta. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. She's the equivalent of Pam in the British office. Well, there's a point with her where, I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was one of the only narrative problems I have with the movie. What? Wonder, Wonder Woman gives her something. Oh, that yeah. she should have never given to her. Oh, yeah, that was weird. And it was like, not even like a moment, it was a moment of hesitation. It was like, oh, okay, go ahead and take it. And it's just like, no, no. Well, why that, are you trusting like, the stranger? I think she was yeah. just very trusting as a person. I agree with that. And also it was a woman she identified with her, probably, yeah. you know. And I don't know, without going too deep into it, I just think it like, that thing had a lot of, <clears throat> the more she would have been protective of that thing, would have made, you know, later things more relevant. That's as close as I can say. To yeah, that. yeah, I, right. I got you. I also felt like when I saw her in Superman versus Batman or Batman versus Superman, Batman I thought she was v Superman, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I thought she was way too overpowered. Like I thought in the fight with Doomsday, there was nothing that could hurt her. She was like not even breaking a sweat in that fight, and I was like, this is not exciting. It's like this mm -hmm. character's got no. Yeah, she was she, overpowered in this one. She's got no risk. Yeah, but the way it was handled was way different. Like that's not like, like a, you felt she was under threat. No stakes. There's no stakes, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's just like any fighter. Some fights are going to be easy and some are going to be really hard. She's well, had this, a really easy fight. But I had only like... ever seen the one fight before, is what I'm saying. Fair play. So it's like yeah. if, they, if they have her, if they have her, I was worried they were going to have a female well. superhero and they wouldn't treat her like male superheroes. Like she couldn't get banged up, you know, or beat up, you know, or be in danger of dying, you know. And that would get old for people, I think, fast. That's what everybody hated about Superman after a while. It's like, like just use the heat ray, you know. Just, yeah. to get it, just <laughs> there, there, I mean, there's even that one Superman shot where, like, he gets shot in the eye with a bullet and it <laughs> yeah. bounces off. Like, all right, we, you can't do anything, man. Yeah, we got it. You, we, we get it. This He's, is boring. Yeah, yeah, but then they almost kill him later in that same movie. Yeah, but it just this highlights is Batman how Batman v Superman. No, it's like the Superman Returns. He's LP. It was before Superman Returns. It was the original one, wasn't it? Nah, no, 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 you're, no, you're right. It was Superman Returns. Yeah, yeah. because it's Brandon. It was before the current Superman iteration. <laughs> yeah. The one that wasn't any good. Who was playing Superman? I don't know. It was the one where Kevin Spacey was Lex Luthor. Wrong! <laughs> that, is, that is the line. It was probably like 10 years ago. Now, okay. Honestly. Or Brendan Roth. Was that his name? Yeah. Or Ra Ruth. I don't know. Yes. Uh, it's the same Ruth. Superman as today. No, no, it isn't. Henry Cavill? It's not the same guy? No. The one that's from like guy. 12 years ago? They look similar. They both look like Superman, huh? Yeah, go I'm figure. I'm a fan of Henry Cavill. Um, let's see. Yeah, Brandon Routh. I, I think the last thing Henry I saw him Cavill in was Zach and Mary make a porno. Yeah, it was uh, 2006. Yeah. 11 years ago. Damn. Mm -hmm. And it's after Superman 4, I think. You know what someone said to me? Yeah. I'm looking at this guy, I think it's the same dude. I had no idea. Like I had like no other. idea they changed Superman actors. What? I, that does I not no look clue. at all like him. You're a maniac. There they are, side by oh, side. A different guy. Very different guy. Is Same that... dude. No. One's an action figure. Get that out of here. What is... <laughs> That's not a real person. Is it on the right? Uh, it might be. That looks like the same dude to me. Maybe the chin's a little different. One of them's British. Which? Oh, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I heard something the other day that blew my mind a little bit. My little brother just graduated from uh, university. And someone said that now colleges are going to be getting applications from people born in 2000. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. That blows my mind. Yeah, people born in 2000 can almost drink what? in the UK. I was born in the 70s. This has all been blowing my mind for decades. Yeah. You are now getting old. Seeing stuff in the 90s was weird to me. Like, oh. people born in the 90s, like, that's fucking weird. I want to yeah. address something real fast. Go ahead. People on Twitter keep saying, why does everyone forget about Xena, Ripley from Aliens? I mean, come on. Okay, like I said... Ripley from Aliens was 40 years ago. Buffy. Xena was 20 years ago. Um, the point is, it doesn't happen. How about Tex from Red vs. Blue? How about that? Right. That's a strong Or any character too. from Ruby. Any character Especially from Ruby. Especially Yang. It has happened. No one's saying it's the first time it's ever happened. We also mentioned Ripley. Yeah, we did. We I don't know <laughs> what this person's saying. We're not saying it's the first time ever. We're saying it's a, I feel like it's a big milestone. It is a tent pole 
superhero movie that they're going to build a franchise with. Yes. That's it. And everybody loves it. It's a good superhero movie. Universally liked. Can't Even take that Gus for granted. Gus liked it. I liked it. Having worked on movies, I now recognize the same... I would have been great if you just said nothing after that. That was like <laughs> the whole statement. Having worked on movies... Well, now I don't want to say it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I recognize the same set of woods in so many movies. Oh. There's a place like the, just outside London called Bourne Woods. Mm. Where they have those really tall, thin trees. It's where we shot a lot of that Sherlock I was gonna Holmes ask, movie. Yeah. But I've seen those woods in like Avengers and Wonder Woman. And I, I, I swear I've seen them in like three other movies. Those are the most well used woods. I got some well used wood. Yeah? No. Wow. <laughs> just setting them up for that joke. You know, it's measure. just weird how they don't try and make it look unique in any way. It's always like, oh, that's the same woods. Those are the same woods. I guess it's just trees. But it's like, I've never seen the same location so many times in the same, in so many different movies. I'm trying to think of like a street in LA. American or equivalent, of, yeah. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. Yeah, like what American place is in the most movies? The Hollywood sign? You know they don't let the Hollywood sign at night? New York. Like the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. Uh Weird. they don't let the sign at night? Yeah. I mean who would pay for it? Hollywood. Yeah, I don't know. It's free money. They everywhere. don't need the advertisement. It's people, fucking people know what Hollywood is. You can't even Nine lights. Thing. What are you gonna do? That's why people go up and fuck with it. <laughs> like when they teach it to Hollywood. They did it really fast, yeah. It'd be a little more lights than that though. It's nice a very big light bulb. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, just like nine on each one on each letter. Fine, it's good. It's all good. It's good. Make them glow in the dark. But they got to be really strong lights. Eh. Oh, Snow White was the same words. I went to that too. What? The Snow White movie, Rupert Sanders. Yeah. That was his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one you worked on. Yeah. All right. Let's wrap this up. All right, bye everybody. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. We will see you guys next time. Uh, And. Are they going to see us oh, thir- or see people Thursday? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Bye. All right. Love you. Bye, everybody.